And it's live. Hey guys, Gogs are here and welcome back to Match Day Live with Pastor Mike. Today we have a Scottish Cup special episode. Uh, well, it's basically this whole weekend. We're gripped on the channel with Scottish Cup fever tonight. Uh, today I've been joined by Frisquandro and Stevie. How's it going, lads? I'm good. Good. I'm good as well. Yeah, and, and also we'll be joined later on by Cammy, who's a Livingston fan, and uh, Jamie, who's wanting to cover Dunfermline versus Hearts in the Scottish Championship. So looking forward to hearing about that. Let's have a look at the comments first before we go any further. Have a look, Joseph. Uh, yeah, very action-packed stream today. Hopefully a lot of goals in Scotland. Uh, and Effie's not happy for some reason. Um, hurry up, Gogs. Well... I, we went live at half two, just as I said it was going to be. So I don't know what your problem is. <laughs> uh, good afternoon, Cougars. How's it going, mate? And uh, aye, right, so first up, I think we're going to give Stevie a wee, a wee shot here. Uh, talk to us about for Martin United versus Motherwell. If we don't win, it'll be the most embarrassing result in our history. Um, we should. We should win with our eyes shut. Both. Um, Both. Aye, that but it's, it's true, mate. We should be winning. That's what I shut today. Um, and I can't believe you're getting above even money for another one minus two. I, I, I will win about four or five now the day, Gogsy. Um, yeah. I need to be confident. We're going to be a four, four, two. We're going to go at them. We're going to go for the try and score early, get the game done. What we don't want is it going tight, getting by the first twenty minutes without a goal, and then. Then it gets a wee bit there, which is not me. We don't want that. Mm-hmm. Uh, Robbie B says Aberdeen are like a honking latrine. The Barton unlucky. <laughs> they, so were. they were. I mean, they took like Dumbarton done really well. You take them pretty much near enough all the way, but just wasn't a wee. I think it's a just a fatigue issue with the part time teams, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, I, I didn't watch the game because I knew how shit it was going to be, to be honest. Um, F.A. Ambrose says uh, I'm not playing again but they play Marv at centre back what? okay that's a bizarre one uh, Aberdeen are the best <laughs> right you beat them Barton so you're the best in Scotland uh, hello Kirsten how's it going? good evening and Callum alright Cole Connor says Mon United and Zach Crawford says hello a long time no see uh, alright lads hope you're well Hello, Johnny. Hey, Johnny. I'm on the well today, mate. Come on. I, I'm, I don't care what the score is today as long as we just... But I'll take a 2-0. Like, anything. As long as we go through. Oh, fuck. Got to be hammering this mob, man. Mother will win 4-0 today. That, that, that is my prediction as well. Uh, as as the former Martin United have not tweeted out their first start, their starting eleven. Uh, we don't ha- we don't have the start eleven for from Arsenal United, uh, so shall shall I just go ahead with the Motherwell starting eleven? I think that's a good can, idea. Can I answer that question from a uh, by by BYU Cougars first? Yeah. So if the games are a draw at the end of ninety minutes, how uh, it goes to extra time, and uh, if it's star draw, it goes to penalties. All ties have to be decided. Like and. Um, no replays because the, the fixture congestion is already ridiculous. Yeah, um, <laughs> Kirsten, I am wearing the mother of. Oh, it's came off now. That means you're going to get beat. <laughs> Shut up! I'm putting it back on very soon. See, it's now to your twenty fifth anniversary of uh, Motherwell winning the Scottish Cup, eighteenth of May, nineteen ninety one to twenty sixteen. Uh, I've been wearing this in every Scottish Cup match, and uh, that's why we haven't won a cup since. And uh, it'll be like that. <laughs> uh, done mother will minus one and Kelly minus one. Hopefully both do fine. Well, I, I, I reckon both will be in. Um, we should win, but then again, we are mother will, yeah. Score predictions, I'm going 3 0 mother will and 1 0 Dundee. Mother will win 7 1, right? Okay. We're going to concede a goal. Get a ban him. Ban him. <laughs> <laughs> no, but. Um, Overall, uh, the mother will start in 11 is as follows. Uh, Liam Kelly in goal. Uh, Stephen O'Donnell, who was rested by Steve Clark just for this fixture. Uh, 
uh, De- Declan Gallagher, uh, Tyler McGlure, uh, Nathan McGinley, Alan Campbell, uh, uh, Crawford, Lawless, Roberts, Cole and Long. Uh, what do you think of that start 11, Stevie? Yep, attacking. Looks like a 4 4 2, I think, on paper. I think we'll go with Lawless and Roberts in the wing. Go on up front. Uh, so, as I say, we'll just not go on paper from the off. Um, Robert Crawford just got a new contract this week. Pretty well earned, in my opinion. Um, yeah. And there's also talk about um, Stephen O'Donnell signing another one as well. Um, plenty to be positive about, and hopefully we can get a big win today, and that will give us some confidence going into the last five games because we need four points. Absolutely. So, do you have a prediction? Um, I'm going to go 5 0 Mo. 5 0. I'm going to go 4 0. Uh, but we'll, we'll, we'll see how the game goes. Uh, I'm just praying that we go through. Oh, we don't want an embarrassment. Could you imagine the amount of times I'd have been clocked already if we could beat? Oh, no. I, oh, I mean, what do they do? You saw with Aaron, like, when Broda beat Hearts. <laughs> He got like six hundred people in the stream at once. Bless I mean, guys. I mean, it might be good for the subscriber count for both of us, but I'd much, I'd much rather win the Scottish Cup. To be honest. Me too. Me too. I'd rather <laughs> a memory of Mother winning the cup than uh, see us get put in the first hurdle by for Martin United. I don't expect. Patrick McCormick says we won't beat Hearts. Uh, Crawford needs to go for okay. Uh, wait, West Brom scored a fifth goal at Stamford Bridge. Damn, son. Please. Wonder what price you would have got for that scoreline before the game. Would it even have been on the list? <laughs> the bookie no, just like, nah, mate, you're drunk. Go home. You need a request. <laughs> for Martin has two players under the age of 50 in their starting lineup. Uh, how did Joseph manage to get the start lineup? Oh, that's Ross. Uh, oh, sorry, I've seen Joseph above him. <laughs> sorry, Ross, I'll never call you that again. I can't, I can't actually find it at all. They must have this, sh- now. this show is sponsored by Iron Brew, Scotland's national drink. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I didn't get the memo. Uh, I'm on the copper bar. <laughs> You can tell, you can tell who was drinking last night. Eh? The name's Bastard, Dalky Bastard. License to get pissed. <laughs> I think we all were drinking last night at some stage. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> the Kugel says, but someone on Twitter called Tyrone Smith has tweeted the For Martin team. Uh, well, there's no capital M, and it's capital no, literal, M. For Martin. And they're literally doing it for Martin. Come on, Martin. <laughs> do it for Martin. See when you do a job, eh, Martin? <laughs> you know, when you do a job, eh, Martin? You're more like you're asking for you, Martin. <laughs> uh, if anyone who put 5 2 West Rome on needs the hard drive checked, it's on one football. Don't know who that app, that app is. <laughs> Doop, 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 doop. <laughs> anyway, uh, next up, Frasquandro, talk us through Dundee against St. Johnson. I'd just like to go on record and say that this is not a derby. <laughs> you ain't saying that. <laughs> this is not a derby. And anybody that says it a derby in the comments, you'll be swiftly, you are swiftly warned and you will be banned. <laughs> um, I mean, Charlie Adam came out and said it. This is not a derby. It's just like St. Johnson clutch your arm something. To make, remain relevant. Anyway, I am um, so Dundee make four changes from the team that beat uh, Dunfermline last week. Uh, Cammy Kerr, Sean Bond, Danny Mullen, and Charlie Adam all returned to the starting 11 in place of Paul McGowan, Christy Elliott, Jason Cummins, and Osmond Sow, the latter through injury. So, starting the lineup in full is Legdens, Kerr, Fontaine, Bond, Mullen, McDade, Ashcroft, McMullen. Marshall, Anderson, and of course, Charlie Adam himself. St. Johnson have only one change from their game against St. Who was it? Ross County, sorry, that secured them top six. Chris Kane drops out for Scottish Cup winner Stevie May. So that completes the lineup as Clark, McCart, Kerr, Gordon, Wallspoon, May, Melamed, McCann, Rooney, both, and Craig. 
Mm-hmm. I think this is going to be a really tight one, to be honest with you, lads. Uh, they generally are um, tight affairs when they come to Dens. So I'm going to predict a 2 1 victory for Dundee. I feel like I've, I've, I've woke up on the right side of the bed. He's stuck in a coot. He's stuck in a coot. Oh, so it's not like me it. when, like, if you predict a 5 0 victory and it comes back and bites you on the arse. I mean, 2 1's not exactly. <laughs> I, I'm you quite confident. I'm quite confident that this won't bite me in the arse for us. Um, um, I see a comment there about Jason Cummins. Yeah, Jason Cummins, um, he's obviously on the bench today. I never read the, the bench, but the bench does look attacking. I mean, we've got Paul McGowan there, Jonathan Alphalabi, and of course, Jason Cummins himself. So I think it's uh, Jason Cummins has probably been dropped from this one because of the fixtures that we do have coming up. I think we've got three fixtures in 10 days. So, but you know. We've got we've got him on the bench, and you know he's he can come on and play a really good game regardless. So I'm looking forward to it. Looking forward to it. I can just imagine how delirious you and Ross will be if he's won the day due to your sheer hatred for St. Johnson. Joe, you know, it's 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 a weird one. You know, it's like we hate them more than they hate us, even though they call it a derby and we don't. You know, it's a bit of a weird one. Uh, it's weird. <laughs> You know, like, it's, it's basically St. Johnson basically clutching on to like, the two Dundee teams to like remain relevant, <laughs> as I said, you know. So, we shall see. We shall see. Uh, oh, it's just, it's just brilliant. The, like, I can imagine if, if you score in the last minute to win the game, I, I've just got this image in my head of Ross just doing some sort of Highland fling. Do, do you know that actually happened? Um, we played them at Dens, and it was a 2-1 affair. Uh, it was um, Musa, Sophie and Musa, the great Tunisian man, scored in the <laughs> second minute. And we were holding on for dear life. And then in the 89th minute, they scored Stephen McLean. And then like they were all like, gaining at big licks. And then Sophie and Musa scored again with, like, honestly, like 20 seconds to go. And like they were all heading for the exits. Beautiful seethe. That was also the game that uh, Neil McCann basically said that Tommy Wright was not welcome in dance for. Uh, Callum Davidson, uh, Kilmarnock plays Stenhouse Muir at Oakleview today. The glamour side of this. Mm. I could see Stenny getting something for that. Oh, that'd be, that'd be brilliant. Yeah. Craig Put Telford Tommy Wright in his place. Commentary. Craig Telford would be buzzing. No, oh, he certainly would. 2-1 Dundee, Cammy Kerr and Max Anderson at the score. So it's probably be, I'd take it. Max Anderson, I'd t- definitely take him to score. I mean, he's been fantastic since he's came in at the start of him. And he thoroughly deserves to keep his place, even if it does mean getting put in Paul McGowan on the bench. <laughs> <laughs> if you know, you know. If you don't know, that's unfortunate. <laughs> I remember the fights at the end, says Patrick McCormsky. I don't know what that means. She also said Dundee can't defend, so we need to be able to match them. Lovely, lovely, Stevie. Oh, I thought I'm meeting myself there. Sorry. Apologies, <laughs> 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 oh, guys. No, no need to apologise. Uh, so I think it's time to go to Coop and Corner now. Uh, Stevie, do you have anything on to me? I do. I've got Kamalak to score both halves. I've got Motherwell minus two. I've got Morton to win away at East Fife. And then I've went for a shocker. I've went for Rafe Rovers to win away at Livingston. Five to one you're getting for that. I just thought that was great money. And, and it's got a good chance of coming in. So, yeah, that's what I've went with today. So, for me, I've gone with a six-fold, and it's just completely, strictly Scottish Cup. Uh, I've got I've gone for Aaron over 2.5 goals in the match against Clyde. That's 11 to 10. Uh, Kilmarnock minus one was eight to eleven. Uh, over two point five goals in Livingston versus Wraith. That was basically evens. Uh, Montrose and over two point five goals in the match against Fraserburgh. That's uh, long odds. Motherwell minus three against For Martin United at five to two, and uh, over two point five goals in Dundee United versus Partick Thistle. Tenor, a tenor returns a monstro- a monstrosity of uh, nine hundred twenty one pounds if it comes in. And uh, so here's hoping. If, if, I've I've got hope today. Good luck. Oh, that's what the fight that uh, Patrick was talking about. Uh, yeah. The Dundee and when uh, Neil McCann and uh, Tommy Wright. 
I was like the most pathetic thing ever, um, and of course that's where uh, the Tommy Wright, uh, we hate Tommy Wright. He's a grass game for <laughs> because basically Tommy Wright, grass Neil McCann, and said that I looked more malice than what it was. <laughs> Ridiculous. Uh, Johnny M says, so much for the mini heat wave. It's cold down here today. But it's like the Costa del Cooper up here. I'm quite yeah, happy. It's, it. it's really nice and in Camden Fly. Yeah, I'll, I'll be sitting oh. out in the garden later on, enjoying my, my Copperberg. If Mother will win. Massive if. Massive if. It's a, it may have two letters, but it's a big, big word. Uh, Sod, uh, how are you doing? Ah, fine. I woke up on the right side of the bed. I think we all did today. Uh, just, I think we're all just positive about today. Like it's, it's cut weekend, well, love it, and then it gives you a dose of reality. Come walk to five. I yeah. think if I, I think if you're not confident going into a cup tie, then what the fuck? You the know, it doesn't matter who you're playing. I mean, you need to be confident. Hmm. I would like to welcome to the stream Jamie Forrester. How's it going, mate? My bad, my bad. How's everyone? I am it. Going well. So, uh, of course, with uh, the Fairman being the only representative that's out of the cup today uh, in the stream, uh, how are you feeling ahead of your game against Hearts? Oh, so confident after our last two performances. <laughs> Cannot wait for this one. Um, the, the, uh, Jamie, mate, they're just re-showing the, the highlights as we wait for the stream to start of the game last week against uh, do, you know what, do you know what it is, though, is the problems have been evident since before Christmas, but the board aren't willing to act. Hello, Cammy, how's it going, mate? Hello, how are you doing? I <laughs> know, bad. Uh, Cammy, meet Jamie, Jamie, meet Cammy. Cammy's a Livingston fan, Jamie's the firm one. Hey, Jamie. Oh. Cheers, boys. Do you hear them both? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Cammy, uh, ahead of your game against Wraith Rovers today, uh, Wraith Rovers on the back of a massive victory on Tuesday night against a team we won't mention on, on the screen. <laughs> uh, yeah, Cammy, how are you feeling ahead of today's game? I'm feeling pretty good, like, in the sense of the team we've put out. Uh, I don't know if you've run through any teams or whatever. We've not it's done any of them. But... Aye. T tell us about it. Um, so, yeah, pretty much, race lovers are pretty much on fire in the championship. It's a wee bit worrying after their Tuesday night win yeah. <laughs> <laughs> against uh, Dunfermline. So, <laughs> uh, after, after that result, it kind of makes me wonder the fact we've had a week break, well, two weeks away, it seems, obviously. Uh, I don't know, it, it can go either way. They've been a chopping change kind of team for us over the years, so I don't really know what to expect. Um, the one result I can remember was when we beat them 4 0 to kind of stay up in the league uh, a few seasons back, um, and we played them in the cup uh, last year, and we won 3 1 after John Baird opened the scoring for Rafe. Um, it was quite a it's quite a difficult game to be honest. But I thought we were actually going to get beat, and Lyndon Dykes, uh, the the big blonde king, uh, scored two goals. Uh, scored one goal in that game, and Lola got two penalties. So it's been been decent enough. Um, but no, teams team wise, we're pretty much set up the same idea what we usually do. We got McCory and goals, unfortunately. Uh, you got Nicky Devlin, Fitzwater, Guthrie, Longridge. So kind of playing a back four probably. Marvin Bartley, Jason Holt, Craig Sibold. Scott Pittman, Alan Forrest, and the Jet up front. Yes. I'm thinking the way Martindale mentioned, oh, was it maybe two weeks ago, three weeks ago, he's going to be playing guys like this mm -hmm. now that are going to be there next season. So whatever team he's going to be putting out is a start for next year. It worries me in a slight way that the fact you've got guys like Josh Mullen on the bench, that the fact is he away, is he not going to be there next season? It's hard to tell, but um, other than that, I'm quite happy with the team. It's, it's just pretty much wanting to win the game, it seems. Why not? We need to keep in the cup, really. It's good European European place, isn't it? 
Of course. Uh, we'll look, look at a few more comments before we, we, we change change another topic. Uh, Matt White says he's got an 11 foes on. I'm not going to read all that out, but Jesus Christ, 667 quid from two. Decent. Uh, Love it. Thanks on you then. Uh, pints on you indeed. Uh, I'm missing someone, but I don't know who. <laughs> uh, yes, we'll, we'll be doing a stream later for Celtic against Falkirk. Uh, Billy Mehmet, uh, our pal, uh, has, says, has said, uh, come on for Martin. <laughs> Just quickly, by the way, see yeah. when were they talking Wraith? Mm-hmm. Don't get it twisted. Wraith were in a slump themselves and aren't playing brilliant football. The issues on Tuesday night was far more how bad Dunfermline were rather than how good Wraith were. We were we made an ordinary side look like Barcelona, let's be honest. I mean, the, the second goal, you can argue it was offside and, and whatever, but that, that does not matter at all. It's the fact that we've got someone in charge like Stevie Crawford who is so tactically inept, like Saturday night against Dundee, it's obvious that Watson is getting beat every time by Ashcroft in the air. So what does he do? He sticks with it instead of changing it about a bit. And what ends up happening, we can see two goals. He, he comes up against a team who play in a narrow diamond. And what does he do? He goes with a wide diamond so that you're totally exposed. That like Any half-decent manager will set up his team to play well against Wraith. And you'll probably find that today. Wraith won't be... I know Tuesday night made them look amazing, but they're not going to be that. If you want to look good, play against them firmly. We'll make a hard side to have been ordinary look incredible because all we're going to do is put the ball long down the line, let the forwards chase it, and nothing's going to happen. So, yeah. Don't worry, yeah. Ray. That's <sighs> just how bad we are. We've got Patrick McCormick in the chats, who is also a Dunfermline fan, saying Ayo Obelai is for Queen of the South set to agree a pre-contract with Levy. That's excellent. That means in three years he'll be signing for Motherwell. Brilliant. Mm-hmm. Brilliant player, though. I mean, when we played Queen of the South, he's always Mark- been a handful. <laughs> yeah. Martindale came out and said something about it. Uh, Martindale came out and said something about it. He was saying that there is other clubs actually interested, so it'll be a case of does he actually want to play uh, for less money, to be honest. Mm. So we yeah, is it, Levy? Unfortunately, we can't just <laughs> put the put the zeros at the end of contracts. Uh, oh, you, you have to say, look, we've got about two McDonald's in the town centre. You've got a lot of access to fast food. Three, three, <laughs> three McDonald's. Three. Sorry, three McDonald's in the town centre. <laughs> and about six like costas or something. It's yeah. no, it's no Christian Nadi they're signing. That's not going to be a motivational factor. <laughs> <laughs> Big Christians are sound boy. I've I've been working. I've only just seen the West Brom Chelsea score. Huh? Personally, I think you know what I was not talking about. It, mental, mental. I've I've been Ch- working, so I've never seen any of the scores. That's mad. Ch- Ch- I, Chelsea, Chelsea went down to ten men quite uh, in the first half. Yeah, yeah well, I was gonna say like they've just like finished these highlights of the Dunfermline game. Like I shit you not, Ophain, Oph- what's his name? Ophain von Williams kept he's in that. Oh, he was superb. Like he, he kept it. Ma- he like made the three two game. Like he could have. Uh, like if he wasn't there, it would have been like seven two, six two. And how many of the opportunities come from not knowing who to pick up, not changing it at like. Or not. Every opportunity was was the same because he he can't change things. Like Crawford will set a team out and go right. This is how you're playing, and whatever happens, happens. But I think I mean like see like I honestly think it was a battle of like you know like obviously we hold James McPake in high regard. You obviously hold Stevie Crawford in high regard. You want them to do well, but you know like it's hurting you inside. But a lot of them Fairmont fans since sort of Christmas day. Because if, if you look at it, since we went top of the league on November 22nd, we've taken 17 points. That's joint bottom of the league with Alwa. He should have been out the door months ago. Oh, Jamie, Jamie, does that not happen that often? Is that why you've got the date lodged in your brain? Well, <laughs> hey, you can't you can't even miss it than being a Dunfermline fan. If, like, <laughs> you can literally go on any post that Dunfermline put out and I guarantee you someone has put Something saying we've 
we've only taken 17 points since the 22nd of November. Like, literally. And you'll you'll see the same... St- every, everything is just crawford out. Like, Man. people people uh, on, on the first were, you know, like, nothing coming out. And every comment was, I hope this is an April Fool's joke and that he's actually gone. And like, he, he can't avoid it. If, if he loses today, it's, it's going to be horrific. Because... If we lose today, the chances are we probably don't even make the playoffs. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Alan, but then they waited too long to sack Alan Johnson as well. The board the board won't act. And I think maybe part of it's to do with the new German investors. Maybe they are waiting until they can come in in the summer and properly overhaul things. Maybe they don't want to change things. They'll have their own ideas. But, I mean, we brought in Vistas Gisputis, the Big Lithuanian centre half through the German. Just scale us love child. Aye, well, he, he, he was away. He was away on international duty and apparently played really well for Lithuania. They got beat four now, and but everything like sort of signified that he was a potential man of the match and he was really good. So hopefully he can have a decent turn at the day, but it's not fun. It's not fun. Jamie is a Dunfermline fan. If no, he just he just talks so passionately about Dunfermline for only him for him to turn out and be a Cow and Beast fan. Aye. <laughs> um, we've we've not heard back yet about British fans getting into the game. Your guess is as good as ours. Yeah. Well, I think after Mr. Leach's comments the other day... Hey, that man's a professor. Him. Show him some respect. I will. I, I clubbed him on the radio, so that will always be the case. Shoot, oh, sorry, it's not a bad shout, by the way, but um, I don't, I don't think it will be Stuart Petrie that comes in. I, I think it'll probably be a a, a foreign man. Um, he's a but No, he fought on Montrose. I thought he's Montrose, as you know. Uh, I think he's Montrose. I can't even. Remember. It's probably one of the more longer serving managers because obviously, like, mm-hmm. I think they brought it out on the Pie and Bovril who, like, the longest serving managers mm-hmm. was after Dale McInnes' departure and it's Jim McAnally. And then I think there's a lot of part time teams that have kept their manager for like up to five years. Yeah, well, with, with him being at Montrose, obviously, he's got the connections as well with the club. Um, he used to play for us, so that's yeah. a good point, actually, Custom. <laughs> You know, it's a game of, it's basically cards against humanity, but instead it's memes. Oh, I've got it I've got it right next to me actually, the what do you mean? Uh, yeah, we are thinking about investing in it because it Wait, funny. We, we, we'll, we'll get acquainted with it tonight then. There you go. <laughs> oh wow. Yes, there we go. I think we've got two copies actually. Because I see that, like, obviously, it's like Cards Against Humanity, and you get the different versions. Like, I remember it was one that I was like, I saw the preview or like the screenshots of it. It was like uh, me when my friend told me they voted to leave, and it was David after a dentist. <laughs> it's just like, ah! I, I don't play Cards Against Humanity, I've not got a second of sense to do Bullshit! It's just quite a fun name, that what do you mean? <laughs> oh, God. I'll wait for golf TV. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying to be my on-screen persona. Can you not uh, divert me from that, please? In the minute? <laughs> Here we go. And ready to kick off. Oh, sorry. What well, happens behind the scenes? Stay behind the scenes, kind of thing, is it? Sorry. Yeah. Yep. Very much so. Very much so. Where you go, Cali? I'm busting that. <laughs> <laughs> First ball. Enjoy your game, BYU. You Kugels. Enjoy. Hey, right, um, come on, Mullow. Don't embarrass us. Who's been their most improved player for your team? You know what? I, I want to say Crawford for us. Mm-hmm. I, I thought, I could I, say I thought he was by average and then he's just turned in sixes and sevens every week and it's turned into sevens and eights. Can I, can I throw in another, another shout? Yeah. I'd put Ricky Wami in there as well. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Sorry, Kelly. Sorry, apologies. Oh, oh, say sorry to me. I'm glad you signed them. Oh, baby, it's Mugabe. One of these, one of these three for me, definitely. Yeah. Um, I think, I think it's not so much like an improvement. Like, I think it's more the fact that he got written off by Dundee fans at the start 
and now he's actually proven his worth when he comes on or when he does start is probably Osmond So. And mm-hmm. um, yeah. a lot of Dundee fans were like, you know, thank God we are paying him on our pay as you play contract because um, he's useless and everything. And like, he used to just be totally like his first touch was absolutely awful. But I mean, he's getting in amongst the goals, so probably also been south to be honest. Jamie, I'm quite interested to get your opinion on Dom Thomas. Um, <clears throat> Dom started the season on absolute fire, um, and. Our Actually. season sort of went to, went to, went to shit when um, there was a big bust up at training between Dom and Kyle Turner, um, sort of Christmassy time. Um, and I, ha- I have seen things saying that there was potentially um, like a fight had broke out and stuff like that. So since coming back in, he's not really done much. Basically, most Dunfermline players haven't had a good performance since we last played Hearts when we beat them 2-1. Um, excluding the 4-1 Wraith game, that's pretty much been been it. You know? So Dom's he's got all the talent in the world, but he's so hit and miss. That's why he's playing at the level he's playing at. If, if he was consistent, he, w- he would be at a far bigger team than us. Um, mm-hmm. On to the sort of most improved... Um, kick off here with the Tony Mark. Sort of the, the most improved for Dunfermline. I, I would actually probably go with, with Lewis Mayo. Um, either him or, or Ian Wilson. Ian Wilson came in at the start of the season was a bit hit or miss, but he, he's probably been our most consistent performer. And Lewis Mayo has played pretty much everywhere. Right back, left back, centre half, holding midfield. Oh, uh, what? Oof. They were taking the knee. 30 seconds in. Nate Rovers just stopping, went right in the box, crossed the ball in the box. Guffrey's kind of played the pass back to Fitzwater. Fitzwater's not cleared it, and it's laid to the guy's feet, and he's just skied it. But I think Bobby Madden's the referee, and he's gave a free kick for absolutely fuck all. But oh. <laughs> Johnson were taking the knee there, and um, Dundee well. Mad things. Uh, both. Both teams here stood Ooh, controversial. Um, Charlie controversial when like most teams are standing there. But yeah. it's also got the first goal of the day. Oh, it's one Rovers and Livy. Well, technically Aberdeen scored the first goal of the game. Oh, the first goal at three pm. Shut up. <laughs> that's a shit <laughs> match. Yeah, that's why we didn't go on it. Is. But have you kicked off yet? Yeah, I've only just kicked off there. Mate, oh, Xander Park is no longer a big green bogey. Now he's a... I don't know if it's uh, red or orange. If it's orange, then he's a dusty ass. Ah, there we go. 1-0 to Montrose after... Sure, Patriot will not be leaving. They're on their way to Hampton. I, I, tell you, I tell you what part of the issue as well. I don't know if, if any of your clubs experience this, but it's jobs for the boys where... You know, Every fucking week, Paul McGowan gets a start because he's best yeah. pals with James McPake. So, so for example, like at, at Dunfermline, he's brought in and he's back from staff, Jason Dare and Greg Shields. Not one of them has any real coaching experience. They're, they're both completely out of their depth. You know, Jason Dare came from Dundonald Bluebit. Like, what <laughs> kind of job is that? Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it's like trying to find an assistant manager that you get along with. <laughs> But, but honestly, and then Declan McManus, up until Craig Whiting came in, played every week. All, all he would do is run, 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 run. Then the ball would come to him, he'd fall over his feet and give away a foul. But it's pointless him playing. Poor Kevin O'Hara sat on the bench all bloody season, no got an opportunity. And when he has played, he scored. But jobs from the boys, Declan McManus. The boys. <laughs> Um, uh, John and I we're using our club's official streams because we're not cunts and we like to donate to our um, <laughs> teams. <laughs> well, but, well, I think I like that better because that happens all the time on the Livy forum. Like it's like, have you got any streams? Pay the fifteen pound, you type fuck man. Or twenty. I mean, <laughs> although although part of me kind of just. Doesn't he want to be playing it then? But I mean, 
Mm-hmm. I know, I know what you mean. Like, oh, well, like our season ticket like covers like all the league games, but apart from this game today, because obviously mm-hmm. it's the cup. Yeah, I think you should always get one cup game with the season ticket. If you ask me, uh, I think game. the way things are, they should have gave you all the cup games. You're not uh, actually. What, what, what was it? We had like four league cup games. Well, we had five because we got through it the next round. Stevie, how how picturesque is this ground? I feel like I'm at a public park. <laughs> it's a nice Doing it right today. For uh, my oh, yeah, yeah, honestly, it's right. I'm watching the game and it's like the cameras are at low. I feel like I'm at wheelchair level watching the game. Um, <laughs> that was like, like us hmm. when we went up to who were we playing in the uh, we played Broda in the in the the Betfred and like honestly the level that the camera was at was kinda weird rather than yeah. elevated. It, it's like um it's like when you're at Dingwall and, and they put all the disabled people just out at the side of the pitch. I hate it. I hate that it. But, um, honestly yeah. does my head in. I'm going to get onto that when I go there with my channel, but it's a nightmare. Oh, <laughs> I hate Dingwall. 1-0 oh, at Paisley oh, Saints, and it's also 1-0 Clyde. Who have Clyde playing? Yeah. So it's 1-0 at yeah. St. Mirren? Come on, St. Mirren. Aye. I, I should have picked for the Kitten and the one to Van de Murray. Uh, if you've got results that are coming in other than the games that we're watching, file them in. But do not spoil any scores for us. Can't so that includes Dunfermline, Livingston, Dundee, Motherwell. No scores. Feel free to spoil it for Dunfermline. We're wank. It'll only be harsh goals that we're, we're getting through anyway. <laughs> So the Craig White sign, the Craig White sign we use, or did he sign on loan? Then he's coming on a, a permanent yeah, at the end so, of the season. Yeah, so he's not he's not playing today because he's on loan till the end of the season. When then he's got his pre contract signed. Oh my god! Um, Just play for some Paul McCann. Yeah, he's actually been he's been brilliant for us. Like he's got some pace and like the crosses that he puts in are like. So accurate. The only oh, issue with Paul when he was at us is his attitude. Has got I mean, I had a lot of United fans saying that. Blanky's kind of yeah. screwed on. Yeah, well, the when, when, he was, when, when he was at Dunfermline, his whole time there was great and it was screwed on. And he applied himself and then he had a contract um, extension offered to him that. He was ready to sign, and then the day that he was supposed to go and meet AJ to to sign his contract, he just no showed and went up to Dundee United and signed mm-hmm. with them. Said nothing for about a week, then showed up and went, "Oh, by the way, I've signed a contract with Dundee United. I'm leaving." And then oh, we right. ended up with Hippolyte instead. Hippolyte, Hippolyte, Stevie, what did you, Stevie, what did you make of that wee moment there for Four Martin United? I mean, first shot and target if all my team I was just waiting in the net building to be honest with you. Good for Martin. Uh, man. It's just... Uh, it's got to be one of the multiple performances, in it? Really fucking scrape a one or something. It's just, just one of the uh, ones. I'll take that. The way the game started, man, that was <laughs> definitely. Fucking <laughs> battle, I'm sure to, to Big John Knox, uh, Scott Banks is very impressive. Very, very impressive. Um, quick, skillful, can play a pass, can beat his man. And that's why Stevie Crawford takes him off at half time when you're needing goals. <laughs> As you are. <laughs> Brings on Lewis McCann, who's offered nothing. I, 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 I couldn't even tell you if he scored a single goal in about the six years he's been at Dunfermline. So yeah, that's the maybe the <laughs> yeah, I see Stevie Crawford uh, sometimes on the Edinburgh routes I do for the buses. Eh? He, goes, he lives in Queensferry, I think, or South Queensferry. Yeah. Uh, he goes out jogging in that. Eh? And I'd just love to see some Dunfermline fan walk past him saying, you're a fucking joke, man. Do you know what yeah. it is? I, I love him for everything that he did at Confirmland, but it's it's now ruining his legacy because he's outstayed mm-hmm. his welcome. Mm-hmm. I was going to say that. Oh, fuck off, referee. 
Yeah, he definitely can be a wee earner. And uh, talking of wee earners, thank you to our boy Kevin Nisbet for earning us some cash by getting his, uh, his Scotland cap. <laughs> Aye. I do that. See when, see when you've got a young oh, player yeah. that you like, get offered money for. You always say like when they get their first cap, you give me money. I think it was eighty grand Dunfermline got for it. Better than a kick in the balls. Do you not say that you had a lot of like add-ons for? Uh, yeah, for um, yeah. When he gets sold, you've got a thirty percent sell-on clause. So hopefully, you're talking about five million pounds for him. That'll be that'll be a nice cash injection. That's a fucking five pass. <laughs> That's the best my... football fan phrase. That's a fucking five year, five year pass. Set, the the set best me one. My, set me in my wheelchair on the grass me. and I would get that at the guy's feet. All this to go. <laughs> fucking go joke. He's just sitting down with clothes that as well. What? Oh He's just sitting down with clothes. Yeah. I, I love I love the jump in level that Stephen O'Donnell's oh, had in the last week and a half. He skinned David Alaba uh, when he played against Austria. Now he's playing it for Martin United. <laughs> you know, that's you know the thing goes, go to when you're yeah. international. You know See Stephen O'Donnell every time he plays for Scotland. I feel like after half an hour he's fucked. Like, I always runs too much. Well, I, I, honestly, I, I feel I feel like. You maybe get forty-five minutes of him over over like the course of a game because he runs that hard like that quickly. It's like just slow it down a wee bit. He, Aye, he never hard. paces himself, does he? No. Nah. That was like that was like us. Remember that uh, Jesse Curran that we had from Australia? He was like that. He was an athlete. Yeah. He used to run for sixty minutes and then he tired himself out. Yeah. Wait, wait, Come on, my old man. Now you see like a, a Charlie Adam who runs for six minutes. But Runs produces. for six minutes, but can pass 60 yards. Take it every day of the week. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and the ball moves you faster can, than any player. You can oh, actually I mean, see that. I mean, Charlie Adams' passing is ridiculous. Like, you know, like, he'll be on one side of the ball and he'll, like, he'll point and he'll be like, this is coming to your feet, by the way. You better fucking run. Uh, you can I, actually see the body fat in these former team players, man. Yeah. <laughs> Like the crinkles in the shot, they're a bit, they're a bit noticeable. Honest to God, man. He fucking dived! What? what? <laughs> What's happened, Cammy? <laughs> <laughs> the fucking ref is like five yards, or see, six yards away. Uh, Marvin Bartley's got the guy just beside him like that. He takes a wee touch and he just falls over. Just falls over his leg. Yeah. There's no movement or nothing, just, just flops. So is that a penalty or a free kick? Or? Right on the edge of the, of the box here. Probably about... I don't know, it's right in the corner. It's a good good chance to get an ink swinner here. Especially if McCory's in goals. So. Jerry Adam is um, clattered, I'm again. How did Dumbarton play against Aberdeen today? Fuck! Sam! You bastard! <laughs> is that a goal for Ray Trovers, Kelly? Oh yeah, what a free kick. I tell you, McCory in goals, he's fucking he left such a massive gap on his right hand his right hand side. The if you see it later on, obviously, the, the ball's in the corner of the box, he's whipped the ball right in. McCory's standing far too far on his other side of his post, thinking the wall's got it. I think it's Jamie Gullen from the on loan from Hibs, I'm correct. Yeah. He, he's just literally whacked the ball with power. McCory's, again, see we were talking about that uh, little hand that he likes to get on the ball thinking, I'm almost got it. Yeah, that's his exactly. like this? Yeah. Fucking holy goalie, man. Honest to <laughs> fuck. I give up. Is it, a, is it a little hand like this, mate? Fucking ain't trying yeah. to keep me in You fucking stay with Stevie when you're wheelchair, mate. <laughs> you have to move. Stay in the middle of the goal. Fuck. I'm sorry to tell you, Cameron, but I have to move from my equipment five to one. Today. Good. Uh, the reason I was saying more the Rafe last night is because I want to get a fucking shake-up. Play the same fucking team up front, man. Play two up front. I've got more strikers than we ever had in our fucking career. Go on. Come on. To answer your Four, question one. about uh, Dumbarton, Jamie, they played quite well. I think it was just fatigue that ended them in the last 10 minutes. Uh, four first, one each for Edinburgh and... Yeah. 
What? Down south, Leeds 1 0 up against Sheffield United. Harrison. Leeds. Leeds. <laughs> Wendy Chiffers says, Is there TV coverage of formatting <laughs> versus Willow? Right, it's, on, it's on ITV, mate. Oh, here we go again. Rafe on the attack inside the box. He cuts inside. Oh, good block. That was close. 2 oh 0. Should be. That should be 2 0. That's the that, That's fucking. What? It, it, it was Lewis Vaughan with the goal uh, for Wraith Rovers. Was Lewis Vaughan, Vaughan by the way, is one of those players who is oh, so shit. impressive. He's it's, just injured. Oh, sorry. Wraith again. Guy just skidding past uh, Jackson Longridge. Hit the ball straight. McCorey is out for a corner. We were fucking terrible, man. This is a joke. 15 how minutes you, gone. How do you feel having Jackson back? He was brilliant when he was at Dunfermline. Don't be wrong, there'd be a lot of negativity around him. Like, I, I loved him when he was at Livy. I'm surprised he left, but yeah, well, unfortunately, this maybe came at the wrong time. I think you know, we've got a guy on loan from Monaco, you know, it's going to be quite difficult to, to compare the two together, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, hey, I would have had him back at Dunfermline any day. Yeah, uh, well, he's I, a two -year deal really... I think we're going to yeah. play a different style of football next season. Uh, the way going here. Yeah, probably. It, for whatever reason, it just didn't work out for him when he was at. Um, I think he expected to get promoted like what Josh Mullen did at Ross County. I think he went to Dunfermline to do the same again. Let's get promoted again. Let's get that feeling of getting getting the playoffs or winning the league. You know. I That's kind what of fucking think... Robbie Nielsen done. Robbie Nielsen like dropped out of the division to win the league again. Oh. <laughs> I kind of think maybe a big factor for for him as well was getting to play with his brother. Aye, that Louis was, was yeah. As well. Yeah, I read I about that. Louis now, by the way, is he's... Uh, Queen's Park. That's right. That's it. Can we some sides? That's right. Uh, they'll, 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 be, they'll be a championship side in the next uh, couple of years under Ray McKinnon. If they keep Ray McKinnon... <laughs> What do we what do we think? That's somebody by the way who I wouldn't mind being the next Unfermly manager is McKinnon. I know it didn't work at for him at Falkirk. Uh, he obviously left Wraith to go to Dundee United and that worked to an extent, but D Dundee United were a disaster when he was there, so you can't really blame him and then look at what happened to Falkirk anyway. Go on. How's he put that wide? <sighs> Who was I think every club that McKinnon's went to, he's uh, he's went to the wrong clubs, really. You know, Sunday night he'd work. Poison Chalice from the beginning when they went down. Uh, Falkirk were turmoil off the pitch as well. You know, when he got left by a club that's not willing to spend the money on players that he probably wanted. So he's left with guys that are either still there or players that are not good enough. Simple, that. Do you remember the, um, he, the way that he left Greenwich, though? That was like... That's, you know, like, that's fucking like, brilliant, man. I don't have any sympathy for anybody that ha happens to. That's fucking brilliant. The, the morning <laughs> one, again, is different because David Hopkins was on the board and there was pressures there and he clearly wanted the job and there was yeah. a lot going on there. But the Dunfermline chance there, Scott Banks has just been played through the middle. He's one-on-one -on -one with Gordon. Gordon dives to his left hand side. Banks puts it uh, the keeper's right and hits it wide of the post. It is unbelievable that he's missed that. Fraser and that's Brown, something. Like. <laughs> Who is Fraser properly? Controls. <laughs> so far, so good in the betting front. 17 minutes here. Still was it boy's name? Queen's Park, it was that. McCory was good at Queen of the South. Aye, he maybe was, but there's a big difference between... Mate, that comment was like 50 years ago. I know, but I just didn't know. I'm not paying attention to comments. I'm getting pissed off of this game here. <laughs> 98 of you's in the, in the chat. <sighs> Thank you very much. Two shot over 100. Invite you these are but I've scored against the controls. Aye. Like your mowing your dog. That'll do it. 
Sure, Petrie is no what is <laughs> is leaving Montreal's. <laughs> Uh, Sean, Sean Dolan says, "How are Muggle getting on Gogsy and Stevie? Stevie, what do you think so far? Seventeen minutes played. Um, fucking push. <laughs> <laughs> Fair play. We've um, got a corner here. Uh, Who's on? Created zero clear cut chances. Like oh, that's me. It's coming through a fucking Alexa. It's just tell me that St John's have scored." <laughs> oh dear! Oh mate! Wait till Phil Martin score. Then we'll see who's laughing. I can laugh. We're getting beat anyway. I can still laugh anyway. It's fine. Oh dear! Come on. At least Rafe are in the championship this time. No League One. Fucking hell, man! What the fuck was that talk? Honest to God, this is got a heart three below that. Oh, I don't know what I'm telling you. <laughs> Rafe are playing some tidy football, like. Oh, we won the ball back. Oh. Oh, Long Ridge. Oh, fucking Gary, anywhere Gary, but there. Gary, uh, with the goal there, Stevie May cutting it back, uh, beating Liam Fontaine to provide a pass. It's a good goal, to be fair, but I think that's against the runner play. Dundee looked. Just only slightly the better team, but we go again. <laughs> Robbie B's going like that to Cammy. This is fucking. Stevie said it's like watching Livingston. <laughs> Wait a. Go, go then. Go defensive there, there. Thank you, Paul. Fucking hell. Your team shite, do you, alright? Come on. Oh, why is this an outswinger? Just get Jordan Roberts on it to swing it in. Jordan Roberts, eh? Yeah. I feel like that. I know, that's one of the uh, biggest yeah. things of the, the transfer window, right? Must have been. Because he's played that well for you as well. That's, oh that's God, a different that's fact. That, the fact he couldn't date for Hearts in the Championship, but comes to Motherwell and tears it up. It's good. I love Two it. 2 1 Fraser Brooks. Thank you, Stephen. Oh, sure, Peter is definitely on his way to the pals now, Jamie. Aye, uh, he's losing. <laughs> That's what they do. Right, same, same managers that keep getting beat, aye. Well, now that, now there's a chance that we will, we will get him, aye. So you mean there's a chance? Uh, Give me a second, boys. I've, I've got to go and see the missus. <laughs> Imagine still drawing to Formerton at this stage of the game. Aye, 20 minutes into the game. That's fine. Best fucked fuck off on Georgia Prax. <laughs> oh my god, man. That's what I love about Cup Weekend. Like you just never know what's gonna happen. Charlie Adams had a shot just over the bar there. You know, he takes these like two strides and then yeah, he takes a shot every time. Let's see. Dog Jab get the feel, mate. <laughs> Robbie me, man. Oh! I'm on the right shift! Anything happening at Keith versus Clyde? Keith. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, someone got the catch. Shit. Yep, my dad said I've got the field, mate. Oh, dear. I hate when they take so long to pull the whistle. And do you have uh, backs against the Oh, ball. my God. There we go. Corner to Formerton. Oh, sorry, boys. Fraser, did you see about United owner applying to open a golf resort in St Andrews, planning on spending fifteen million on it? No, I did not. The monk. Um, I'm not actually from Dundee, so I don't get these. Like, I mean, I don't read the the newspapers and um, articles. Only like see the sports stuff. But yeah. um, that's quite an interesting one. That's the same with me. I, I never read newspapers unless it's for sport. Like, don't even sell myself with like the courier or the the telegraph anyway. They're a bunch of cunts. And there goes our chance to work with the courier. <laughs> nah, you wouldn't want to. Thank you. 
<laughs> Thank you very much, Raz. <laughs> there you go, Steve. He's made that even worse. Don't start. <laughs> I was just folding my, I was just folding my hands. Uh, <laughs> I was only expressing it. I, <laughs> I was just um, um, folding my hands very frustratedly. Right, that's what I, that's um, what I'd say on my Twitter bio. Um, <laughs> all views on my own and not those of uh, past the night. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Lucky Brit has won the Euro Millions for £122 million. Good for him or her. Aye. Congratulations. Uh, cool. Uh, Brendan McEwen says Let's... 3 0 Motherwell. I hope that was a prediction because uh, we can't see into the future. Let's hope they're a Livingston fan, eh, can we? I'd take a shot and target at this rate. Uh, <laughs> He's not had one yet? No. no. It's been a slow start, guys, all right? <laughs> Yeah, it gives me mad vibes of the Glen Torren game where we were absolutely tight in the first half. There's three comments saying it's two on Edinburgh City. Yeah. Um, it would appear it's two on Edinburgh City then. I've just got this. Yeah, if any of you've ever seen Eddie Murphy stand up, he tells a joke where he goes, That shit ain't funny, motherfucker. I've got that in my head about watching Mother with him because it's just no funny at all. It's a honest <laughs> one. It was more funny the way that you said it. <laughs> oh, oh, shout, shout out to uh, J Maxi Cheese's Ma, Mrs. J Maxi Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Cheese. <laughs> there's a Ross Callahan oh. uh, trophy up at Taylor. Former player of uh, St. Ross oh. and Dundee. 1 0 Partick at Dundee United. Come oh. on, my big mate, play for Partick, get in. Big mate, in the sense that like you've known each other for a while, or he's a tall guy. Ah, he's tall as well. Parks were unlucky there, nearly scored. Good opportunity, but put it wide right there from Williams' goal. I wouldn't have mattered because he would have saved it anyway. Has he made many changes from the previous games? Um, Out goes White in. It's a goal for um, Brora. They're one 0 up against Strenar. Come on, Brora. We're going to hand them. <laughs> Europa League. Imagine Brora, Fraser, Brora, and former team on the fucking last sixteen in the cup. Uh, from from uh, Tuesday night's game, out when um, Henderson, McEnroy, and White and in came. Wilson, McManus, and Disputus. Seems. <laughs> Scott Tiffany with the goal at Tanner Dice there. You don't hear me, no? No. What? <laughs> I said that, eh? Sorry. Oh, sorry. No. That's all right. Good player. I think I think he just needs a run of games, to be honest. He's, he, he's quite injury prone, to be honest, for us. Um. What team does uh, the Monk support? Answers on a postcard. Dundee United. I was hoping it was hard. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Uh, we have a good opportunity here, but Dom Thomas is on the free kick, so it's either going to hit the first man or go out for a throw-in. Because, again, since after okay, Christmas... Oh. Oh, it was the third one, straight into Kate Gordon's hands. <laughs> I really want to see oh. this kick again. Chance on it, Dave. They'll drive it wide. Hey, Tom. What a ball. When was the last time multiple Highland and oh, one teams were in the last 16? Joseph, you love a bit of stats. You can do the research on that one because uh, obviously we're busy right now. Yeah. Um, in the last 16, I think enough Goro's got to run. Five and oh so did Bonnerig. I think that's God. it. Fucking let Talbot got far once, didn't they? Yeah, I, I remember they beat Ayr. Yeah, I don't think. Uh, not sure. Well, it's mechanics. Ah, there we go, Stevie, you're yeah. diving <laughs> dick. Fucking hell, man. <laughs> What's so funny, Kelly? Oh, just Stevie's reaction there. I didn't get a time on the start. <laughs> Playing Highland League and it's all sideways backwards, man. Just <laughs> dig it. Get it out of your feet and get it moving. 
Honestly, man. The best of football players, man. Jesus Christ. What, uh, oh, what do we what make of Eddie Howe being in advanced negotiations with Celtic? You know, I heard that there was rumours that he was in a McDonald's in Easter House. <laughs> <laughs> One of my one of my contacts in the game, uh, who shall remain nameless because I don't want I want to protect his identity, said so. <laughs> I think that would be some coup for Celtic to get Eddie Howe in, though. Definitely, but it means he stops getting paid by Bob. Oh, you... oh, he'll, he'll have a lot of guarantees, I would imagine, if he takes a Celtic job. I, I presume he'll want a sizable budget to turn that shit go around. I think you want time mostly. <laughs> mm. Need the time, man. Like, there's a big, big overhaul at Celtic, I think. Thanks, Frank Definitely. Lampard should have said that in his Chelsea contract. Like, you can give me like less money, but I tell you one thing I need, and that's time. Yeah. Like, and I, I still don't think he got enough of it. You know, the way that he yeah. left Chelsea was quite. It's a bit like, um, you know, like us and, like, obviously us and James with Bacon and then using Stevie Crawford, like, such. Players that are held in such high regard. Sometimes it just it doesn't work though, and you've got to cut your losses. Montrose uh, equalised again. Or, that's Stevie. Uh, that's uh, Petra. He's he's keeping that job. <laughs> Come on, shit, boy. I was busy, Stevie. Do you know? Do you know what it is though? When Stevie Crawford got the job, they wanted to give it to Jim Goodwin, but. Couldn't afford Jim Goodwin, so Steve Crawford got it. That's what we wanted as well. We wanted Jim Goodwin, but then we ended up with McPake. Oh, oh! There's somebody. Uh, David Ballspoon's uh, sitting in the dairy trying to retrieve a ball. I tell you what, Scott Banks likes pitting that ball just wide of the post. That's another incredible pass. It's actually Declan McManus. That's the first good thing he's done in months. We we honestly should be two 0 up just now, but just gotta take our, our chances. What would day for a Kevin Nisbet right now? Shame that's what I done. Film I've been lacking this season. What did somebody that just like gets all the goals rather than just like a few players that have got like six or seven? Yeah, I think I think we. We were, we were blessed because we had a, a player who's going to go places. Um, you know, he's only at a stopgap at Hibs. He'll be away in the summer. Um, and I think his career will keep going because he's, he's got all the attributes to be a very, very good footballer. Um, and we were very fortunate that we had him. But I think if we had to put him in this team, we would be... We would be there or thereabouts for Hearts, I would imagine, because the amount of games that we've lost by a goal where we just cannot take our chances is absolutely ridiculous. Oh my fucking god. Uh, what? No, Aberdeen are not looking good for next season. It'd be interesting to see what Stephen Glass does. I don't even think it's the fact that let's see what he does. I think they're financially like a bit like Hibs in a in a rut. Do you go and spend a wee bit and risk it, or do you stay conservative and, and not bother? Because the way McCormack was talking was they want a, a manager to come in and utilize players that are wow. already there. You know what I mean? If, if I was sort of in the position of Aberdeen, I would maybe look at selling on some of the young assets. Raise capital that way, you know, Lewis Ferguson, players like that. Yeah. But then, but then there's, there's, there's another one, you know. Yeah. About but they, they've, also, they've also done it with, like, Scott McKenna never reinvested anything because of this new stadium. Yeah. So yeah. maybe. maybe Can't have a new stadium and not have a good team to go into it. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? What's the point? You know? I wonder where Derek McInnes will be next. Hearts, maybe. Maybe I think he'll wait a bit somewhere. before like putting himself back into the the job market, to be honest. I kind of wonder if, if Nielsen might go and he might take that job, but... <laughs> Who was it? Oh, it was Adam. Uh, 
Uh, Heather sure. was saying um, that uh, Bobby oh. Nielsen usually, you know, he, you know, when he gets a team promoted, he then stays in the championship and then takes over the team with the biggest budget. And I'm like, so you mean that he's going to imagine Dundee next season? No dice. Hmm. Hmm. Hearts hmm. very, very close to scoring. It's rather difficult to see the way that the, the shadows go from Nori and the goal, but it was the very team, close to scoring, right. right. Um, quick question, Jamie. How's the surface looking at um, East End? Pretty deep, man. I'm just thinking, um, Bobby Nielsen, you know, if, if they get beat, you oh. know, he's mean something to blame. So, you know, like, you know, if the surface is looking decent, then. Come on! Uh, I'm, I'm sure I'm sure he'll blame the fact that Craig White wasn't able to play for Dunfermline because they only loaned him out. Uh, that'll be his excuse. Uh, the, referees got, bo- the referees' boots were very uh, disturbing. I, I seen them. Um, I did see though. What a ball that is! This has to be a go- How's he missed that? That's another huge opportunity Dunfermline have missed. A brilliant reverse ball from Kevin O'Hara puts Josh Edwards through one oh. one, slices it wide. Come on. Yes, there we go. Thank, oh, fuck. Thank God for that. Start a fucking joke, man. Uh, Shawnee boy, I was intrigued. I was quite intrigued when you said Klopp to Germany, Gerrard to Liverpool, McInnes to Rangers, and then you said on to sell it, then I stopped listening. I think um, I think I think we owe the former team goalkeeper a win bonus if um, we give through the day for that. Because <laughs> um, <laughs> that was some assist. Talking well, talking uh, to the uh, manager. Yeah, well, I'm, wa- I'm watching it, Wally. Uh, I'm very aware that we are poor. But he said not well, very poor. Then he says hello. Well, okay. I know. Oh, um, fucking hell! Home yeah, talking at the talking about like this manager merry go round thing. Um, I did have a look, and the bookies, uh, and like McBookie's odds for the next Dunfermline manager, the the shortest price is actually on Stephen Robinson. So he's the, who the bookies he is the favourite to be the next Dunfermline manager. He'll be the favourite for every Scottish job at the moment. I would, I would, I would, I would, I would that would be a brilliant, a, a, a brilliant acquisition for us if we could get a manager like him in but I, I actually kind of think it might be um, Young oh, Derek Young Young. Young. for East Fife yeah played uh, at the club for so long makes sense he's, he's managing in the Fife area I kind of yeah I think it kind of makes sense Darren Young's actually impressed me as a manager because I remember when he was the captain at Alloa, he was quite a quiet like captain. He wasn't vocal at all. And I was kind of like, you know, what's he going to be like um, as a manager? But then he's actually like proved me wrong. You know, he's actually been very good. Like, to be honest with you, if he, if he doesn't stay, I would maybe be okay with Yogi Bear coming in. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. I, I maybe would. No, you don't want him. I don't know. I'm telling you, no. Him and John Collins were probably the two worst things that ever happened to Livingston Football Club. Right. Wait, are we not oh. counting administration? Like that was we. Yeah. That was when we had money, supposedly. And that's what left us <laughs> in the ship because we spent so much money. John Collins revamped it all. Got whoever coaching in got. 10 extra players that never kicked a ball for Livingston Football Club and the next ones to come through the youth academy you know left us fucking bankrupt the prick and he acts like he knows everything oh shit shit Ray Froze on the attack here in the box McCory comes out fortunately and Juan 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 with Kelly by the way fuck is it yep yep would you take Agent Jim back at a uh, Dunfermline, one, Jerry? Mm, nah. <laughs> you know he's a personal trainer in Dunblane now. Is he? Uh, he's got you like his own gym and that. Oh, aye, Jim McIntyre. Aye, yeah, I've seen that. It got posted up, aye. Yeah. Look, Jim McIntyre and his spell at Dunfermline did very well. But we were... 
we were fortunate again that season that Martin Hardy and Kevin Ruktovich came in in the January because without them we wouldn't have won the league. Um, and he was all part of that whole movement that ousted him, Scott Thompson, and a few others, ousted Stephen Kenny out the dressing room um, and turned on him and he took the job. I, I feel like there's too much politics with Jeff McIntyre and Doug Fernland. Uh, ever sort of have them back in in that sense mm. um, although I did like that when he was the <laughs> announced as the Dundee manager and the Dundee United had invited him he just signed as the Dundee manager and he was celebrating in front of them and they were all booing him that was funny and then when he got sacked from Dundee and then went back and they were all cheering him <gasps> it's a bizarre one give, give, it, give it a boost at the end of the season Guess who's um guess who's the top trend on Twitter at the minute? Who? Ali McCoist. Ali McCoist. Ali McCoist. Because everybody's just praising how good a commentator he is. Very oh, good. Very good. Uh, Jamie Gullen's coming off for Daku. Uh, must be Duku. or Duku. What the name is Duku? Aye. Um, must be a, a, an injury of some sort. I tell you what, um, that boy's a threat. That man, he yeah, he looks quite, he looks quite decent, like, and he knows, he knows how to find the back of the net. You won't be at race after the, the end of this season. You'll go get more do, money somewhere else. Do you know Rafe what? Do I really... have a lot of individually good players. Yeah, um, Regan Tumulty, he's a very good player at them. Um, he, he was Mike Kennedy, Mike Kennedy. You know, at Falkirk, he was. Um, I don't know. I don't think the Falkirk fans liked him that much. It was nah. really strange, but I always looked like quite a decent asset to have, you know what I mean? The, uh, there was a penalty uh, shout earlier on, I forgot to say. Uh, I don't know. I can't, the, the cameras in these games are not as good as what you get in the other streams. I think Gogsley can know what I'm talking about. You get like yeah. 10 different cameras and in your own stream, you only get like one, two cameras. Eh? So Another, it's really hard to tell. Eh? Oh, I'm big save from Craig Gordon. Dunfermline have been all over Hearts in this opening 42 minutes. We, we you, quite you know, easily... You know what, Jamie, you know what he's are missing out on? He's are missing out on putting in cross balls into the box. Because Craig Gordon can't catch a cross. Yeah, but, but then when Don Thomas's delivery has gone to shit, it doesn't really help. <laughs> you can't beat the first man. They've got a corner here, right? Don Thomas has gone over to take it. And like I said, it either goes straight into the keeper's hands... It doesn't beat the first man that goes out for a throw in or a, or a goal kick. And his he's set pieces were so good at the beginning of the season, I just don't understand it. Ian Zodden got a book in there for a, an attempted RKO on Danny Mullen. I have voices in my head. Uh, Reagan Henry is, he looks like, he always reminds me like a kind of David Tumble, but not as good. Good with his feet. I think for a goal. What? I think Regan Hendry is. I think Regan Hendry is one of those players who. Ali David Tumble. No, I think I think Regan Hendry is like one of those yes! players who. Who yeah, will either go up the division, mate, we're watching the game. Who will either go up the divisions and be really impressive and get a move down south, or he'll be playing non-league football in like five years' time. Yeah, it's going to go one of the, the two weeks for him. He's going to be oh, brilliant. Yeah, a really good <laughs> agent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wally Pearson knows the script. I am the real guy. How many, how many folk have done that? I think I commented yesterday. Was it uh, Miles Story? He must have some agent, by the way. Honest to God. Yeah. He, he the kid spin. never scored a goal for like a whole season almost and still got a move to a well-paid championship club. You know? It's unbelievable. Have you seen the business that the Rovers have been doing? They, they've signed quite a few boys on pre contract. James, Keaton, James Keaton's is there. No, Christoph Berra is apparently in the advanced top to sign a pre No, it's done. Uh, it's done. They, they also have Tam Lang, who is us. He's already been announced. And Dario okay. Zanata as well. So, Dario Zanata is a good player. Yeah. He's, he's another one, though. You say that, you say that he scored. And his time at Alloa, he played like 70-odd games. He scored six goals. He's, I think, scored two goals all season for Air United. But he's he's one where when you watch, when your team's playing them, he always looks impressive. But when you mm -hmm. actually look at like, what he does, he's wank. 
Yeah. He's yeah. Was that, was, was that definitely a few players like that. He's Joe <laughs> Carter. Every time Joe Carter was on the telly, he was the best player on planet Earth. And then you watched him every week and he would do the same thing. Run, cut inside, lose the ball, not Do not back. speak ill of Joe Carter and ben, uh, 1885 Ben's presence. I'm convinced you know that Joe Carter is going to be his best man. Do you know what? I really like Joe Cardo and he was he was very good when he was at us in spells. But he's one of those players where it's like one in four, one in five, he shows up. See, every time you say in spells, I think um, Harry Potter's good in spells. It doesn't mean he's a decent winger. <laughs> <laughs> Half time East End Park. No, no. He should be about four or five to confirm on the way it's been going. Um, so getting beat one now. Yeah, but look at that. Know. My cousin Les has messaged me saying, How the fuck are Dunfermline no winning? Three one on ones and about 40 missed opportunities. How is Les doing? Les is doing well. He's doing well. Is he still working over uh, the COVID pandemic? Obviously, he's a mechanic. Eh? Yeah, they're, they're still open. Yes, oh, I am sure. dying for the Barbers. Don't you worry, mate. <laughs> so that is wank. One good game every season. That was like Craig White and with us. Had one good yeah. game every 13. Old Turkish Barbers for the size, man. Oh, I like that. Our, uh, our, our guest on the halftime show, not that I'm going to get to listen to it this week, is Danny Granger. Oh, Danny boy. Played for both Dunfermline and Parks. Interesting. He was our best player when he came in that season. He was superb. When did he play he for you? Uh, do you remember when we got to the playoff final and got beat 3 2 now when Hemmings and Stewart scored? Um, 13, no, 14 15. No, yeah, maybe 14 season, 15. We are sure season. season Rangers won the league. So oh. Oh. 13, 13, 13, 14. 13 14. Yeah, 13 league 14. One. Correct. Go on, the old second division. I like that. see like Robbie B who's in the comments, he's a Queen of the South fan. Like all we talk about is the, the old Iron Brew Leagues. Oh Brian Bring, back Iron Iron Brew. Brew. Bring it back. Bring back Iron Brew as sponsorships. This show is what to you by what? Iron Brew. Oh, <laughs> oh man, yeah, man. have a ten Iron Brew. <laughs> I remember like oh. you used to be able to donate your Iron Brew cans to the football team and they'd get yeah, like they'd get like well, money yeah. donation. Yeah, I remember that as well. Yeah, give us a song, like, Jamie. So many. Many. Just an amazing. That's half time here. He doesn't uh, come from Spain. Okay. He comes from Lithuania. And Vistas is his name. What a boy. <laughs> He's done nothing in this entire no, game. I, I don't think it's an Astro we're playing that. No, it's not. He, he's half just time. at some like, just at some school. I <laughs> think it's Dundee no St Johnston one. It's a public guy one. Mel Ahmed with the only goal of the game. Been quite open otherwise. Queen of the South had Iron Brew Iron Brew bins outside the stadium. I'm sure that one of the hospitality lounges we still got one of the Iron Brew bins. Just for like all the glass bottles and that. Dun do you take, do you take empties, mate? Was it? Dundee's hospitality is not too bad. I've been there a couple of times. It's pretty good. Thank fuck. Can the guy say in the game of the day for today is the phase of butter, but yeah, yeah, no. I can it's 2-2, two, two, but this is to be 3 up, uh, says the monk. I like to see the goals in that. Who will get promoted from the championship? Question for you all. Fuck's sake. No. Let's um, not talk about the championship right now because nah, it's half time in the game. So it's time to do a wee bit of analysis on the first half. Uh, we'll go to Fraz first for Dundee Nelson Johnson 1. Uh, as I said, Guy, El uh, Guy Mel Ahmed got the only goal of the game through a cutback from uh, Steve May. I'd say, other than that, you know, it's been quite an open game. Dundee have had a fair amount of chances from outside the box. I do think a goal for us is coming. I uh, probably just need to keep going for it. I think Jason Collins should be coming on, though. Uh, put two up front. Even if these lot aren't our rivals, it's still 
very good to get a win for St Johnston. Uh, but other than that, nothing much to report. I mean, Liam Gordon got a booking for the RKO attempt on Danny Mullen, but other than that, nothing. Absolutely deadly squat. Yeehaw. Thank you, Fraz. Uh, Stevie, what is your thoughts so far on for Martin Nell Motherwell 2? Very much the sense of relief getting into half time, to be honest. I've managed to get a couple of goals because, apart from that, I don't think we've really done much. I do think, though, that when we scored, it definitely was settled just before that. I was, I was getting the fear, to be honest with you. But um, no, we're 2 0 up now. I've got minus 2 in my coat. That should come in. So, um, aye, it's just about getting the job done, mate. And we look as if we're going to do that. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. J- just a, a sense of maybe get a third or a fourth after no. half time, see the game out, and hopefully see us into the next round of the Scottish Cup. Uh, Cammy, tell us a bit about Livingston against Wraith Rovers. They really have to, I. Yes. <laughs> uh, no, pretty much. I thought this was going to happen. It happened the last time we played Wraith last season in the Cup. They are. Flying out the traps, probably should have had a goal in the first minute. Uh, Bobby Madden gave a free kick for, still don't know what. Um, I've seen a couple of chances happen. The free kick, as I talked about, I said, McCordy's in goals, it's going to be a goal here. And flappy hands let the ball in the net once again. So it's 1 0 Rafe at the moment. If we don't buck our ideas up at the defence, I, I, I see it being 2 3 0 for Rafe, and we're just not going to score. I think Jamie McDonald's. Had one save to make, um, and it wasn't exactly challenging either. So, yeah, big second half. We need to stay in this cup, I think, to keep our momentum going. I don't see why not. We've done well in the League Cup, so it'd be quite disappointing to lose to to Rafe in this one. Uh, but you lay down in the cups, don't you? Like, you know, against yeah. uh, St Johnson, that was embarrassing. The way that Livingston never even attacked. This is a Scottish Cup, please. Uh, I'm not talking about League Cup. No, but I said that you laid out <laughs> in the Cups. Yes, I know. It, it was it was annoying because we played so well before uh, the Cup game uh, came around. I think the St Mirren semi-final kind of took the stuff in at us, really, to be honest. Mm-hmm. So, so, yeah. the, so, the current scores at half-time in the Scottish Cup. Air United nil, Clyde 1. Brewer Rangers 1, Stranra 0. Dundee, Nelson Johnson 1. Dundee United 0, Partick Thistle 1. The East Fife 0, Morton 0. Uh, Fourth Athletic 1, Edinburgh City 2. For Martin United 0, Motherwell 2. Fraser 2, Montrose 2. Hamilton 0, St Martin 1. Livingston 0, Wraith 1. And Senator 0, Kilmarnock 2. And uh, tonight's uh, game that we'll be covering also is uh, Celtic versus Falkirk at 7.30. Uh, my dad told me he's watching um, Partick Thistle beat Dundee United. Brian Graham missed a chance for three yards to put Thistle 2-0 up. Oh, wow. Oh, well, damn. Wow. Uh, so, Jimmy, tell, give us a wee uh, rundown of what's what's been happening so far in the firm against Hearts. Yeah, so, now now at the break... Um, Hearts have had a lot of the ball, but done nothing with it. Dunfermline have had three different occasions that they've been through one-on-one. Two of them definitely should have been goals. One of them a little bit tricky, but yeah, you know, it's it's sort of been one of those days. On another day, we could be four or five up at at this point, but unfortunately, still now now and. The chances are that probably means that we're going to get beat one nothing because that's what tends to happen. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like that quote for a goal. He's like, maybe one day, son, but no, the day. And, and to, add to, <laughs> to add some analysis, Les has said this might be the most one sided nil nil he's ever watched. Wow. Uh, Joseph, Joseph Coyle says, uh, went to Dundee versus Aberdeen and got hospitality tickets and had a free scotch pie. It was very greasy. And um, the monk says, you love a greasy pie, you dirty man, Joseph. <laughs> I can back that up. Scotch pies at Dundee are very horrific. That's why you go for a steak pie. Ricky mistake, yeah, Joseph. But, uh, well, what, what's the best food? You can't. See your own club because I would see a Stephen State Friday because I think that is the best. Pizza and chips at Easter Road. I'm sure Hubs. Steve will agree with that. Hubs. 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 H
No, it has, to, it has to be like a pie or a baby or something. Yeah, like that. yeah. You just want us all to say done filming, you can. And, and I tell you what, I tell Even you just what, bought it, man. The 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 black pudding, steak and black pudding pie at Arbroath. That thing is incredible. If you've never had it, get a this steak and black Johnson. pie. Oh, so good. Have you ever had a staggy's pie at Ross County? Yes, uh, venison. Have you? Pie. Have you ever had a pie at Hearts where you take a bite into it and it's still frozen in the middle? Because I had a steak pie at Dine Castle. Frozen hot, goodness, I even freezing cold in the middle. It was just so horrible. Bit into the thing, took a nice big chunk out of my pie. I was like, oh, that's roasting hot, lovely. It was a freezing day. Bit into it and the, the like, bits of stew inside it were still frozen. Took it back and the boy went, oh, well, what do you want? Instead, I was like, I don't want fucking anything else. So you've just served me a frozen pie. He was like, oh, we can't get you a refund. And if you're wanting anything else, you'll have to pay the difference. I was like, you can fucking shove that up your ass, you dick. Do you get a warm can of juice with it as well? Fuck. <laughs> no, nah, but I got a thing called Bovro. It's like that tweet when um, the guy's like, do you have a cold food range? And then he's like, and then Greg's replied, uh, yes, we do a wide range of sandwiches and baguettes. And he goes, no, nah, I meant do you make cold pies? I just bet in pie and got hypothermia. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you think Motherwell should look at Albert Challenge, uh, young Well, the fact that everyone knows about him, Means that he'll be on the radar of probably yeah. every other major club uh, in world football right now. So, highly doubt it. Remember the last uh, time you were after a Norwegian and then your manager said he was too small and then he ended up going on to be a VR absolute scoring machine from the bench? Yeah, I know. Uh, a certain Uli Gunnar Socia. But that's Alex McLeish for you. Everybody's too small to Alex McLeish. See, I'm loving the comment section. Everyone is like putting your life in your own hands. You're getting a bridey at Dunfermline. Best food, Dunfermline, good grub. Like, everyone, the king, the score. You go, you get a Stephen Steak bridey, and it's the best thing about going to the football. <laughs> like, no, Patrick, that, right, right, no, what is it with the people in the comments? My first stream, I came in and get called fucking spun for train spot, and everybody's sucking up Jamie's ass for the third of them. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> they like me. God, I'll tell you what's what, a good pie. With the uh, no, you go first. Are you right? Uh, elephants at the Lufko Rose, mate. Honestly, steak, steak pie, most steak I've ever seen in a pie in my life. I'll mm -hmm. take your word for that. I'll, I'll, I'll try it at some point. Yeah, honestly, in the left, go, mate. <laughs> best thing, hands down. Three Guinness and, and two pies. That's it. That'll do, mate. Can't be the shit fucking three quid for yeah. a cup of water. Coming up very shortly is the Eurovision Song Contest, which means coming right. up shortly has to be a very famous clip of you. So, uh, that's that's going to have to make a, a reappearance. No, it's not. By the way, by the way, just on the Eurovision Sean, uh, no, I called it the Eurovision Sean contest there because of what I was going to say. Uh, Johnny Boy 132 absolutely loves the Eurovision, by the way. So do we. Honestly. Ah, um, Eurovision I, I don't, I don't, uh, I've never really been there. Yeah, I don't see that. I love it, man. Brilliant. See, when you make it a drinking game or that, Stevie, that's when, that's when it gets better. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to have to find that video, Godzi, because that clip is incredible. I'm sure I've got it in my archives if you're, it's the same one that you're talking about, Jamie. Is, is it the, is it, it's the one where, uh, where we're, we're talking about our rankings and it's France. And uh, I, I go to Godzi, it's all right. And he goes, Aye, she's no bad looking either. And I go, Aye, it's a man. It's, 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 it's a go, It's a he. It's <laughs> anyway, Godzi going, Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I, I made that mistake. I made that mistake in Turkey. I should have known. I was in Turkey. Like you got loads of like drag acts for like obviously an entertainment at night. Somebody was walking in front of me. I'm like, oh, she's. Oh, Jamie, I've got her. it here. I've got it here. Oh, big Adam's it apple, man. It is maybe, no. it maybe tops the cinnamon challenge for me. That clip. Like well, it's it is a leap. It's a different level. Bilal Hassani with Roy. 
Um, she's very nice. That's a he. Oh. That is that no is, quality content right there. Honestly, honestly if, that is. Uh, if, I remember if I, filming could, that if I was able, Jamie, that would get a standing ovation, mate. That's it. That's how good that <laughs> Honestly, I remember filming that and oh, it had me in stitches for ages. Uh, <laughs> just go to five mats. We done says, uh, nah, best food is pie in a roll at Aloha. Pie in a roll? Alwa is like such a like wide variety of scram. I remember we played pre season and it was like honestly it was like twenty four degrees, beautiful day. And you had ice poles. Brilliant. It was like oh. it was like a quid for the big meter long one or fifty P if you had it. I used, to, I used to love it. Um sometimes at East End Park, like if it was a like really hot day. They used to hear an ice cream van outside, and it was called like Sammy's. It was Sammy the Tammy. It was all black and white. Oh, getting an ice pole or something right before the football was brilliant. Oh, comments and uh, you get a slush pop in the George Fox at Tannadice, uh orange and black ones. Uh, no, I've not sat in the George Fox. I must say, Kevin O'Hara has just about scored a bicycle kick. Like it's just gone wide of the post. Uh, Sean boy with the, the Lena Meyer Landrut comment. I, I do appreciate that. She is elite. She is elite. She, she is. There he is. I, I, felt, I, felt, I, felt, I felt so sorry for her when she, she made that. I felt so sorry for her when she made that mistake. Uh, was it the twenty sixteen when she was? Oh, when she gave the twelve points to the wrong uh, country. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh shit! Taken by a stranger was better than satellite. The song that won. Oh. I that she did the next. It was better. It was. It actually was. Um. Yeah. What? What? Have you? Have you listened to any of the tunes for this year? Apart uh, from I've Big listened Story, to a couple. Either. I've listened to the Lithuanian one, the Icelandic one, our one. Our one is actually a really good bop. Like it's a banger. Aye, like when it's just when the it's just when it's actually sang though. Aye, but when the clubs are uh, open back up, it'll it'll be a buyer. Best mascot in Scottish football, Tommy the Tommy. Four four. Sesh tonight, don't don't, like, absolutely, absolutely. I will. There will I mean, be a I mean, Sammy, Sammy went on a sled doing the Nori McCarthy stand stairs. I mean, I, I remember. What was that? Feast us, I was, us to the bar for a corner. There's no replays, is there? I was waiting for a uh, go in the turnstiles. I think it was like half two. It was like it's a bit too early. And then um, Sammy was just roaming around. And then this guy was like, oh. you know, he's like on a bike and Sammy stood in front of him, you know, like trying to block him. <laughs> he was just like that. <laughs> but it's, it'll never ever be topped though, is Sammy and his cardboard tank pretending to shoot Rovers fans. How. Like, they got so pissed off about that. I remember as well. I remember, like, at the time, because there was, like, outrage over it. And I remember um, on Pie and Bovril, a Hearts fan piping up saying how disgraceful it was and how uh, how he should be sacked to immediate effect and never be allowed back in football. And I'll never forget the first <laughs> reply under it was, you're still employing a pedophile, fuck off. Best <laughs> moment I have ever seen on one of those fan well, forms. Dude. Gobs, is this yeah. and half came on for you yet? No, nope, not yet. Uh, well, that's Livingston kicked off. We're uh, with four, nearly five minutes into the second half, isn't it? We've uh, not really, kicked off Just a minute Mind now. Awful, that's where your true character was built. That and Modern Warfare 2 uh, lobbies. Pine Bovril and oh. that. See, this is the problem. This is why people are so plastic and pinpot nowadays. They never played MW2. Do you imagine how offended some people would be? They had to go in a, an MW2 lobby where, like, you, you kill somebody and they tell you they're going to rape your ma and stab your dad. <laughs> <laughs> people can they cope with it. Even GTA, man. I can remember in GTA, that was oh. fucking rife or not. 1v1, Rust. Or quick scopes on high rise, and you would 
your team would win. And honestly, like for the next five days, all you got was like some English guy in his forties telling you how he's gonna find you and fuck your mob because and beat your new dad because you beat him. And it's like fuck off, I'm like twelve year old, mate. <laughs> FIFA, FIFA Ultimate Team was up there in about what? Oh, 2010, just, 2013? Oh my god, I, man. Back, oh. back in the day, though, like, back in the day when it, you, you had, like, the, the voice chat on, like, a 360, and you would take yeah. on you that, that that uncle works for Microsoft and they're going to ban your account and everyone knows what the elite is like. I ain't <laughs> thought that. Do you remember when uh, the guy that uh, when it was like KSI was a like, guy gets angry over FIFA when he's like I actually know the people that code that website. He's like, wait a minute, he's got he knows the people that code this website. Well, people will, will never get to like like people now will know KSI for like his music and he does release some decent tunes in that. But like, race the division one was. Uh, Elite, oh. like, and like kids who will know of them now will not like know about like race to division one and like the good John Daniel beef and stuff like that. Like, those were the days. Mm-hmm. Oh. I, remember, I remember, like, when I was like 12 years old, like, rushing home to watch him play paintball FIFA with Casper Lee. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Remember, he did that like Lead in America film. Oh, that was such AIDS. That was oh, literally AIDS. <laughs> I'm sure we all have things that we regret, and I'm pretty sure that's uh, JJ's. I don't, maybe Lamborghini as well. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> like, Great like, oh, the progression in his tunes is nuts. Like, uh, Lamborghini to, like, Patience is... Oh, the Hesky song, of course. It's Hesky to... Uh, it's the Sweaty Goals song as well. Not nothing on top. I'm getting hyper. Bit uh, of rape as well. Like, <laughs> Rotish or Harry was right. The the old JJ will never be topped. No, he will be. I don't think anything no. will be topped. But nobody can have to remember what they did yesterday. Now I mean, fucking ten years ago, it'd be hangs again. Hi. It's mad to think it's nearly 10 years since he was like... What did they have for breakfast? I can't mind it. Did it feel you know, like... I'll have the memory of a goldfish. Mm. It's lockdown fatigue, actually. Oh, well, you're, you're, you're opening up a can of worms asking Joseph what music... I'll reference previous streams, mate. It's strong and base I'll central. I'll in the box. Here we go. Oh, nearly scored. Every time, I, oh. every time I see Joseph say drum and bass, all I think of is Pav and their glee card, Jamie. Oh, by the way. Do you like drum and bass? I've got a group chat with like Les <laughs> and Ali. And, um, Dundee have just called, but there's a wee bit of commotion because Xander Clark's getting fucking wide. And I think it's offside. I'm on my head. I'm a boy I'm here away group. from flicking yeah. the ball. Oh. What? Into the back of the net from about three yards out. Yeah, he fucked it. Wait, it's the line from what fuck's happening. Well yeah. done. Yeah. I'm in a group chat with Les and Ali, and uh, there is there's like a TikTok that constantly gets shared in that because it's uh, it's just some lassie who's go, like going on Tinder, and all she wants to know is if people are into drum and bass. And I'm like, how come Pav has not, like, we need to get him set up with her. Like, they are a match made in heaven. Do you like drum and bass? <laughs> he dropped that. You cannot not give that. He dropped. See, when a goalie catches the ball and then drops it, instead of I'm actually getting bundled to drop it. I can understand that, but he actually dropped it. Oh, Fucking cut. Clark's a wank. <laughs> Just, just oh, it is orange that you're wearing, you dirty out of bastard. <laughs> the bogeyman has been... That's Pesh there, right? That's two players running each other. They're both running to the ball. They're hitting each other. Both players fall, and the refs gave a free kick to Hearts. Like, keep it playing. Maybe he's at oh, It's just two players that happen to run into each other. Uh... Shawnee Boy says, do you think Cole's, Cole's been very, very out of the game 
Ah, he's, he's he's not done much, Sean. I know you're waiting on him. But he's not done much. But saying that, whole team never did much before we scored, so you never know. You just need one chance. Yeah. James McPeg's been put stating that uh, the goal should have stood. It, I mean, I'll agree with that. Go. You know, I'll tell him. Yeah! What's that? Joseph, Joseph likes the prodigy. Jackson Lundry's turned into Messi. Don't know what the fuck where that came from, like. Cut inside, <laughs> went one to his feet, skimmed about three players, got in the box, and he got to the final product here and it deflected off the defender, just dundling into Jamie McDonald's. No, sorry, guy got cleared off the line. Shit. The stream's shit. <laughs> it looks like something else is happening and it's not eh? Um Yeah, My, it was a clear off the line, but it was like a, a, a wee peel roller. As such, so my music is a required taste. That's what well, I'm going to describe. It it. So yeah, I'm I'm a bit hopeful, but at the same time, when they get the ball, they're just lumping it up the field, trying to catch a defence out because we're playing quite a quite a high line and such. Because we're trying to also get the equaliser. <laughs> we'll stop showing this man. Get over it. Fucking hell! Oh, did you get it? What do you all think? Here's a question. Oh, sorry, uh, you're going to say something, Gogsy. Let me go. Yes, I am. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's because of Dundee United being called the Arabs, but okay, play on. Uh, yeah, so <coughs> what do you all think about Alan Forrest? Runs like an <laughs> idiot, like his brother. Runs like a dog with it. I would say it runs in the family. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. He's he's got something, but I just don't see it enough. If you can't I mean. Every time when we played there, he always looked great. Like beating his man, he was quick. Yeah. But then when it came to like that end product, he never seemed to have it against us. I don't know yeah. what he's like them week in, week out. No, nah, that but, he, he got dropped. Um, because Josh Mullen came back, and Josh Mullen at the start when he came back, he was he, he's pretty much the only reason why we probably won 14 games in a row. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm <laughs> Johnny games, you know? so yeah, Fraz is not a racist, he's very nice to me and has and my people each their own. But thank you, phone dragon back in a second. I found Yes! Oh, that's a goal. I thought that was offside. I thought it was offside. To score multiple goals in a Muddle match this season. Oh, we asked off had a chance there. Well we done, boys. Did. Well done. Well done. <laughs> You're very nice. What do you nice. make it, Ashy Fraser? It's been a bit hell on this, but I think that's an attacking threat. He's like he's he's mad, but see like he's defending, it's a bit questionable. When he was at us, he would like go through a spell where like he would be dangerous for set pieces and stuff. Never really scored many, but was dangerous. And then at the back, he his biggest problem is he lets the ball bounce. He was so infuriating watching him. He would let the ball bounce and like trickle through it. Oh. Again, good player, but I mean, like he scored a lot. Like he scored, like obviously two hit two uh, from corners against Alwa, and then he scored one against Hughes, which could have been two again. Uh, I mean, as we said, I mean as a threat in the box, but he's defending's a bit hit or miss. Kind of passes up, but... boys. Boys, bad news for my curtain, but a shock on the cards. He's five for one 0 up against Morton. Oh wow. See, that should have been day, well, Darren Young. in the day. That's another game, Morton in the cup the other week. Bust them for 120 minutes and oh, something. To be fair, I, don't know what's going on I heard here. otherwise from a uh, from oh, shot. Oh, I've no idea what's going on here, but a Hearts player's down and looks in a bad way. Nobody was around him. Uh, the ball was near. Neil, it was up the other end of the pitch, and he's. I've no idea what's going on here. I don't know if 
he's pulled something or something's gone or if he's collapsed, the camera's not in on him, so I couldn't tell you. Uh, but it looks like they're making the change instantly, so I've no idea what's going on here. Bench looked kind of worried, though. Tell Luffy he's got a heart sick. Johnny Boy's asking Jamie Azur Andy playing. I presume he means Andy Haldy. Um, I don't think he is, no. Think he's, too far, he's too far up open goals us. P- Peter yeah. Haring was in the middle of the park. Um, oh, I brought have scored against Dalot in the basement battle. Great shot there by Ray Rovers. 25 yards out. Hendry. Not on target though. And Corey flapping as usual. <laughs> it's Pepescu who's came off. Oh my god, I swear to god, Xander Clark. Like, yeah. see the folk that were saying Xander Clark should have been in the Scotland squad. I shit you not, I'm watching this. Fucking man. What a mistake in him. It was Pepescu who hold the ball off. against a um, five foot nine Danny Mullen. The, the camera work there was absolutely atrocious. It never showed you what was happening. I think he's just been taken off the near side and he's gone up the tunnel straight away. So I, I presume it's there was no stretcher. I presume he's been carried off. So hopefully that means get from the off man. Just fucking chains on here. This is a joke. We're just getting the ball and hand up. What the fuck's that going to be like? <laughs> That's <laughs> quite too. It looks like for Martin have just subbed on Afrojack. Look at the state of that guy's hair. Is it Fellaini esque or is it like you know Joe that used to play for Man City? It's like it's, it's a Scottish Is it a Colachini do? It, uh, it's, nice. it's, it's like not it's not like a glamorous poofed up afro, but it's, is it a Gogsy do? No, no, it's, it's not like go- go- No, it's not a Gogsy do. It's much more messy than that. Okay. Added on dribble. Yeah, come on, then. Hey, come on, then. Fucking hell, It's like three <laughs> seconds of like delay in there. Such an anti climax. Do you know? Do you know the only positive thing is that come the end of this stream, I might not be the only person that supports a team that's out of the Scottish Cup. That'll be nice. I'll feel included again. <laughs> I, I, I think I think, I, I think I I think I actually love for Cammy's reactions to Livingston being. That's a fucking penalty, man! Inject <laughs> this! Inject this! Fuck you, man! Did you bloody bastard? It's not okay <laughs> before anyone says it's a needle. You fucking missed the one in the first half at all. Cammy's going into crisis. <laughs> You can see why fucking hospitality didn't sit, want to sit beside me, eh? They have no choice. That's something I hate about hospitality. See, if you, if you go for a hospitality day and you're just up for people that have no interest, they're only there to get the food in that, and they sit... Well, oh, well that was me. On their hands. Oh. That was definitely me, like, against Dundee. Uh, we use one two one Fraser. Um... I think it's a Scott Wright free kick one. Am I correct in saying that? You would be. Yeah, I'm in hospitality and I'm uh, I'm fucking raging, eh? Like, I'm right next to the tunnel though, so you can imagine. Please, sir, can you sit down? Ah, that'll be fucking right. That's that. I'll, I'll <laughs> I know somebody that. was about to run for a director's at hospitality. <laughs> <laughs> That's one thing I'll you forget. That, like, uh... Imagine like the rage of being the bottom of the Premiership all season, and you're in hospitality, do you really think these things are not going to happen? You know what I mean? I remember, uh, I remember doing Dunfermline Raid hospitality, um, and Josh they, on, went, so. they went 1-0 up against us, and there was a big group of them. They were going mental, absolutely mental, and everyone loved it. And Katie took the laugh, and we ended up beating them 2-1. And when we scored our second goal, they all got kept out for starting to try and fight. And you're like, what's, what's the... What's the that? And it, it got taken well one way, but no the other. Like, does my head in. 
See, um, me and Lou have talked about hospitality. I, I've never seen Dundee oh. win in hospitality, whereas like every time he's been at hospitality, Dundee have won. So That's it's kind of like I've, I've seen That's Dundee cool. win at hospitality because I went with him when they beat Cowden and beef. Harry, four nil game. You... Oh, right, it would have been sure, can we cast for that day? Same, same day that uh, Dundee oh. United put Rangers at the, uh, the semi final of the Scottish Cup. Oh, the game at Ibrox where uh, Rangers were complaining that they should be the home team even though they were pulled out right. that second. And uh, I was the only person that wanted Dundee United to win that day in, in hospitality, and I made sure everyone knew I wanted Dundee United to win. Nothing, nothing other than just because I don't like old Firm winning and getting the final. So I was at like it was a, that was a weird me. final. It was like I hate both teams. Aye. One one at uh, Gayfield between Arbroath and Alwood. That's all right. Well, let let them draw. Keeps us away for that relegation playoff. Oh, yeah, she got back to that free kick shout there, right? See yep. if he played the advantage as a referee. The ball, the balls went out wide. Where is the advantage there? Not really you, any. You know, it's only an advantage if the ball goes forwards. Exactly. And the, the, the guy who probably uh, Chris Longman probably right there to the box. Right. Oh, oh, sweet. Mad. I'd love to go to hospitality a game that I really could not care about. Like I could just be absolute carnage. Right. Tell me uh, what was a I tell you what was a really good hospitality day. Um, it was Dunfermline against Stirling Albion. Beat them four 0 Gozi Ugu scored a hat trick. Never forget the game. And it was such a it was such a good one because it was like the weekend. Like I, I turned eighteen on the Tuesday, and it was the Saturday that we went. And Jim Leishman kept the bar open late and was buying us pints all night until we had to yeah. leave. Um, it, the bar was supposed to shut at six o'clock, and it was like quarter to eight. And he was like, "You'll keep it open for Jamie." It was brilliant. Love Jim. Jim Leishman, yeah, what a man! What a oh, man! Like, like, well, when I was younger, my like my uncle and like his kids and stuff, my cousins and that, they were all on the board at Dunfermline. So I used to I used to sit in the main stand in the director seat next to Jim Leishman when he was there. Um, so it was great. Like I got about up at it, like a like a sort of rapport with him. So I what a oh, hero! Like yeah, I had to fuck your mouth. <laughs> 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 we need a no context, Cammy man. I swear to God, I'm telling you. What's happened, Cammy? No, Jets just skinned the boy in the wing, cut right inside, cross with his right foot. Into Pittman yeah. and Pittman pretty much falling over uh, before he even hit the ball, and it's hit off his shin. And it's out for a goal kick. So, right. yeah, yeah, just, just a whisker past the post. Jesus Re-emphasizing, this is not a derby, but the intensity is definitely here. You know, the the tackles that are flying in between the teams are quite harsh, but Barocha. if it's done, on St Johnson, fuck that. But so, other way, no. No. No, nah, dice. Hey, there you go, shorty boy. The Vantico. Vantico 4-0. 1 0 Leal against PSG. Superb. Superb. We'll take That's that. That's a love and proof that Mauricio Pochettino cannot win a league. <laughs> oh. Do not think. I think that Pochettino getting the job is to attract mess in the summer. Like, they could genuinely have a front four of Neymar, Messi, Ronaldo and Mbappe. But, but there is a very strong possibility that's what PSG have next season. That is... Oh, that man. is like... That's like the Thanos of football, isn't it? You know what? It's like... It's, it's, it's like PSG would be like... like the on fucking football manager... Just yeah. moving whatever player you want to your club. <laughs> ah, using the editor box. See when you ah, see you something that goes end of season, end of first season, starting eleven. It's like you've used the editor, yeah, prick. Kim, my my favourite thing used to be is 
is I, I used to, like, if I would do like a Dunfermline save or whatever, I would put the in-game editor on for one reason and one reason only, because I used to put Wraith and Scumcucks, like player wages up to like 600k a week, so I could bankrupt them, so that as I was winning, I would just get to see them like consistently fall down the table and get oh, wow. absolutely... So I used to do that every save, like just get them as fucked as I could, just because. Great fun. Um, John's saying I doubt that'll get past FFP. I think they're getting rid of the financial fair play. Ah, it's um, dead. At come the end of the season, it's effectively dead. It's getting replaced by someone else that basically means clubs can still spend whatever the fuck they want. And PSG will take the fine. And the, they could take a 10-point deduction or a ban for you. It's not going to matter to them. Any Ash is uh, getting is coming off or a uh, Sam Fisher. Any Morton fans out there? Your team have been added to the cunt list, just so you know. <laughs> going, any Morton fans? Your team's pish. Honestly, fucking oh me for two hundred and sixty quid, man. Is it madly? Here uh, uh, my list. Oh. I should have followed my instincts and went with Patrick Pizzo. I said when I watched him, that would be a shock at Tannadice. Uh, is it uh, is it Nadley the the big number nine for Arch? Whatever his name is, Nanjuli. Nanjuli, that's the boy. He uh, he's just missed an absolute sitter. Ball flicked on for Stephen Naismith, dropped it on the volley. Just had to slot it past Vaughan Williams, and he's nearly nearly put it. Over the bloody stand, like honestly, it was like upper Bobby Zamora esque. When the ball hits your head, that's a Zamora. When the ball hits your head and your sack, and Rose, that's Zamora. Bobby Zamora was a G, but like, back in the. Who's your team, Brendan? I don't that's actually mind, the... I mean, like. That's I, mean, I was just confident, game. but we're actually still in the game, so... Mr. Sokko's coming on for Motherwell, Sam Foley. Here we go. Hey. I didn't even know who that was coming on, mate. Talking, talking to Mr. Sokko, I've actually got signed Mr. Sokko from an event up the stairs by Mick Foley in person. That's bad. <laughs> you looking forward to WrestleMania then? Oh, I can't wait. I love, I love it. I, I think so, Bobby yeah. should do a live stream for WrestleMania night one and two. Oh, Four and a lot, thank you. Well, ah, okay. absolutely love it. Jason, I the come dog is on. Speaking of wrestling, Jason Cummins is uh, on the part for Dundee. Ah, the stream is spot by Grado. In fact, the night that I got the Mick Foley signed Mr. Sokol was the night that Grado won the world title at the SECC against Drew McIntyre. Iconic. Is he not Drew Galloway in ICW though? He was yeah. indeed. I remember honestly, I remember seeing the uh, Drew well, he was Drew Mom, Galloway Mom. then at the Independence Mom. in Stirling. Oh he he was phenomenal. Like I, I absolutely I've always been one of those people that, that loves wrestling. Like get I, I, like most people go through that stage where it's like it's not cool to like wrestling because it's fake and stuff. It's literally like folk will sit down and watch a film or like the watch, like I don't know, fucking Enders or whatever. It's the same thing. Like, before, before we move back to football, I'll say one thing: it is not fake. It is choreographed and scripted. It still hurts. That is it. I, I mean, the moves are scripted. The moves are scripted. Like what they do is scripted, but they're like you know, like the, like how they perform the moves isn't. Like, yeah. like a, a couple of things. Though, like, you tell me anyone that wants to jump thirty-five foot off a cell and land on a table. Oh, you must go. Nobody's doing, nobody's doing that, and it's not yes. happening. Like, I'll Steve, do he's it. like, I'll do it. I'll do it. Look, it's wait, still going to tell me what's happening. I must go. Fucking Jamie Ramage are here. Fucking one eight, man. Fuck off. Fucking one eight, man. 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 Fucking one eight, man
You're literally doing a cami. You're doing a Chris Kamara right now. Cami's pulling a cami. Came back. Press play on the phone. Yeah. One one. No, right. no he, did, he did go off, but I thought they were making a sub. <laughs> how, how, many, how many players are there? He goes, yeah, I okay. know. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. I thought they were making a sub, Jeff. One chance, man, <laughs> Charlie Adam telling the uh, St Johnson that this is not a derby. I think it's got them really riled up. It was like when Gary Harkins said he'll look forward to playing a new oh, club. Oh. When, they, when we played Rangers. Why did you do that, Charlie? Look what you've done. Is he still at like, PSG yes, Glasgow or something? Or is he like. Even I'm honestly not so it? sure, to be honest with you. I think he's like <laughs> well down like, the football panel. Gary it's been all hearts really this second half. Hey, uh, Gary Harkins is at Gart Kiln Juniors, Jamie. There you go. He'll probably be on about eight grand a week. Eighty. Eighty wow. quid. And a Yazoo. I was gonna say that. Who's providing these Yazoos? <laughs> Used to give him his uh, jacket and his bottle of strawberry Yazoo when he came off and he'd be content. <sighs> Gary Hawkins, your belly's offside. He was one of the players that hated oh, training, God. but in a game, oh, brilliant. Ah, oh, Xander Clark, man. I hope he's fucking getting sent off for that. Gary Hawkins was one of those players that could oh, imagine to manage to be the best oh. ever. Because like he was clearly talented and very good, but he just looked like I think he, he I think he just got frustrated yeah. with the, like managerial things. I remember like hearing this story that uh, he kicked off at Bill Hartley for signing pish players. <laughs> well. he, went, he went he went he went look around you, Paul. You've signed shite. <laughs> I, the I mean, sometimes the truth hurts. Well, then you've got a penalty. Because um, fucking Xander Clark's a cuck. <laughs> yes. Where did that come from? Fucking hell. He's going to save it now. You can it. Oh, why say that? Why say that? Yeah. You want it again for the boy? Come on, Dundee. What? What's? What, why do you hate Xander Clark so much? Oh, this is an accessory to the grass. Right, I get a pen away. So, is he step up? What's happened? Yeah, yeah, I Charlie Adams, oh. 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 This is going right. top, Ben. Oh. Oh. Yeah, try Dini. Just smash it as hard as oh, you can. Oh, I saved it. No! That's a match to go, he saved it. I mean, I mean I'm mean, i slightly, I'm, I'm, I'm quietly pleased. It means that we don't need to go to extra time, probably. I'll be there with the lobbies, can you? So, no, what? Two. Aye, but um, I hate him because he's an accessory to the grass, uh, Jamie. Because <laughs> remember when um, Tommy Wright and Neil McCann had fist take offs? Oh. Like, Xander Clark was trying to push uh, Neil McCann off of um, Tommy Wright. Oh. But then uh, Neil McCann like, grabbed a hold of Xander Clark, you know, like, get off my, like, get off me kind of thing, and pushed him away. And then Xander <laughs> Clark, like, was walking with Tommy Wright, like, to the referee's room, apparently. So. Did somebody say go there? So he's a dad. That's, oh, that's, that's, yeah, that's frustrating. That was a quite a poor penalty, to be fair. Poor penalty, but he's missed a penalty before this season. And he bounced back, so 15 minutes to go, hopefully. What we'll is? This is how like, up out. making counts just to get <laughs> get him a heat. Fuck up. This is how, like, out of touch and busy I've been. What was the, what was the <laughs> higher bar score last night? 3-1 uh, Inverness. Was it? Inverness completely what? bad, Ross County. What's, what's going to happen is, do you think John Robertson's going to get let go and Neil McCann will stay? Do you think he'll... That's an interesting scenario. I've no idea. I am done. Esther's kind of came onto a game. They were a wee bit shaky at the start uh, under um, Neil McCann, but I came on it. Since Joe, Neil McCann's came in, Joe, they've been very good. So, aye, but I'm saying like the first few games they were they weren't winning, but I think they've found their rhythm. 
That's why. That's where it started. I was, I was quite <laughs> nervous when we came to Dead Stars. Oh, to be honest, that was funny. Fawn Williams is a absolute a bad way here so the balls came in Naismith's had the shot Fawn Williams has made the save went to go grab it Naismith it looks like he's trampled on his arm I mean Naismith didn't have to go for that ball it was in the keeper's hands and it looks like he's trampled on his arm referee's not interested go come on then Great ball! Mm-hmm. Oh, fucking all the players at least did. Jackson Longman. Fuck. <laughs> the end. Fucking fuck off. Oh my god. I like how Stevie was like, oh, I don't know why I got extra thing, but Levy's one each. <laughs> I love the way he came in. So is there any of a similar to Stephen Hawking? <laughs> <laughs> Go on, Al. Oh, oh, yes! Alan Campbell, what a goal! I, I turned my ass. Well, I didn't turn it off. I'm just enjoying it. I'm keeping my eye on Patrick Fizzle in there for the big man. So we'll see that's the replay here. Oh, mate. Who's I'm, your pal I'm, again, I'm, Stevie? What a goal. Mohamed Mah- 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 Niang. Is that the boy that played for Pollock that you told us about? Yeah. What yeah. A, oh, man. Through the legs. Oh, oh man. Oh, man, it's shy. I can't take my boy. Oh, <laughs> Oh my, my god, boy. that is filth. Oh. That was absolutely smashing, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> What's this, oh by the way? Oh my god, it's another bloody bear goes by the peak. Would you look at that? See that video? Tell me I'm not the only one that's seen that video. Yeah, yeah Stevie, high fives all around, mate. I get a high five to the floor, it's a special day. Buffed. There you go. Happy <laughs> <laughs> <beat> Easter. <laughs> I hope, I hope, I hope. Uh, remember Fraser said, have you ever seen Mother of 1-5-0? Was it you that said that, son? You know, oh, I was talking about that one. Hi. Oh, oh no, guys. Dundee United have scored, man. No. Oh. Yeah, I was about to say, like, the fact that Dundee are getting beat here kind of makes me feel better because Dundee United are getting beat. But Second. we're scum that way like we could get beat like 7-0 by Rangers it's alright Dundee United got beat yeah you are scum yeah. Livingston I like that these are literally like irrelevant you're like a new town team oh, don't get yeah. it yeah. like Falkirk when they relocated to Grangemouth yeah Grangemouth FC yes Should be saying the F word. Disgusting. Sorry, sorry. Scum cut. Scum cut. Can we go back and uh, beep that out? <laughs> that's it. That's it. That, that, these channels gonna be sucked in for saying that. Like. How long the Aki's are so bad in the cup, aren't they, man? Oh no, aren't they? Oh, oh man. Ian Henderson on Kevin O'Hara off. Mm, Brilliant. No, Just no, no, no. on the useless fucking donkey. Exactly what we want. I can go for a pie and a piss and I miss everything. Substitutions, goal. A pie, a pie and a piss. I'll be back after oh, this. A pay. A pay and a cup of tea. A ball by Jason Holt. Nicky Devlin on the run. Oh, what's happened there? Do you know what I'm really disappointed about is that Hearts took you and Henderson off before we could bring you and Henderson on. Otherwise, we could have you and Henderson playing for both teams at the same time. He was disappointing against Rafe. You know, he, was, was a- he was brilliant when he came on against Dundee, but everyone was disappointing against them. Nobody you know, had a clue yeah. who they were playing. Yeah, what speaking of that, do you know there was a time uh, in the as a eighteen nineteen season, Dundee had oh. two McGowans, two Millers, and two Currens. Like, and they like, yeah. so we had like Jesse Curran and Craig Curran, and then we had Kerry and Calvin Miller and Paul and Ryan McGowan. Go on, Lawless. Oh. <laughs> and how many of them were related? What's that? How many of them were related? None of them. <laughs> That's, that's no, no. Like Jesse, Jesse Curran's feel like Australia and Craig Curran's feel like Liverpool, I'm sure. Right. 
And then obviously oh, Paul oh, McGowan. Oh, and... Awful by Cole. Hi, Paul McGowan's um, Airdrie way. Ryan Mc... I, the only one that could be related would probably be Calvin and Kenny Mar, both Scottish, but not to be. Hey, I like that. Do, do, there's talk that they don't quite know what they're going to do with obviously Kelty and Broda being downed Highland and Lowland League champs. Do you think we should just go to a 12 team league in the, the bottom division, just let them both come in? Yes. yes. And do like two yeah, this and this should be opening the door for a whole lot of other stuff to happen, though. That's the thing. Like, you, you can't but, just like, do that for this season. It needs to be. The so top it, division it, it, be a minimum of sixteen, though. It, it ah, it should, I think. I think a top, an 18, 18, 20, 20 works. Go on. That's the way it's oh, be. Go on again. Ah. Yeah. Eighteen with two twenties, and then you use the Highland and the Lowland League to fill us through. But yeah, I just, I just like to send a wee message to all Hearts supporters that this is how it's done. Oh, <laughs> then. Because there's still five minutes and they could score against us. That's no good. <laughs> uh, shout out to doors, windows, stairs.co.uk who have no taste and clearly have been watching a different game to me because they gave the man of the match to Declan McManus. <laughs> you can just tell that's your scapegoat, Jamie. <laughs> like, honestly, I, I don't know how he's got man of the match. He's, he's done nothing. Like all the chances. Shout out to uh, pots, pans, nuts, bolts, tools, and fancy goods. So if I uh, have roof, <laughs> you're the real winner. <laughs> <laughs> if you know, you know. Football's always a winner. Is that going to be? Shout out, break, respect, too. That's a class fun. <laughs> That's the pod for you up at our growth, isn't it? That's Scottish yeah. football for you. Oh, aye. Oh, what a chance there for St. George and Drag just wide of uh, Adam Lighton's goal. Adam Lighton. Brilliant to this meal. Do you know what one of my, Do you know what one of my favourite moments in Scottish football is? When uh, I can't remember who Al were playing, they were playing away. Oh. And Neil Parry kicked a pigeon out of the sky. Oh, Queen's Park. It wasn't Queen's Park. And then he picked the pigeon up and took it to the side of the pitch. <laughs> Just you laid it down. Like... <laughs> I could make me four. Do you know what I can't wait for? I can't wait to get another away day to Strinra. Strinra. Best away day in the game. Going to the pub called the pub. Oh, yeah, I've been there. Well, uh, where are we meeting, Max? Oh, yeah. The pub. Uh, okay, but what one? The pub. <laughs> that makes the even less sense. Lewis McCann on, Declan McManus off. Imagine you were in another pub and turned around some days where you were. I'm in a pub, no, the pub, but a pub, I'm in the pub. <laughs> I'm it's like that, that one. It's like that bit on how I met your mother when they're trying to dis- uh, decide where they go. It's like we could go to where, where's where, not where is where. Why was? Yeah. <laughs> Gay bar. Oh. What? It's a free header, unmarked. Who's got the wrong one? That's you the way. <laughs> oh. How's he not scored this? It was pure head. Yes, Robbie. Like, oh, he had to be put it either side oh, of shit, Craig Gordon and he scores. Boys. Oh. And Q Hart scoring now. When's the draw for the next round? Uh, Steve, is it tomorrow, you said? Tomorrow. Who cares? Tomorrow. Who cares? Um, Only more will it be left in it, probably. <laughs> I'm just glad that our keys are getting beat because fuck them. Yeah, I agreed. Keys are easy to run in the next round, don't know. Oh! You've jinxed it there. You've went all the way to Fort Martin. Hey, I went like 5 now, and you'll get Celtic or Rangers. 
Silence! <laughs> Silence in the arena! <laughs> Silence! Pots and pans and nuts and bolts. Pots and pans, pans and kids? No, what is it? Oh, fuck, I forgot what it is. Uh, Cammy, can we get a goal at Livingston, please? Fancy. No, pots and pans, nuts and bolts and tools and fancy goods. Pots and helmet for it! Pans and tools and pie. <laughs> That is brilliant. <laughs> okay, thanks. What's up? That that one and uh, and Falkirk and Hibs fans, the ringa ringa roses. I'm the 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 when they're doing the Highland dancing. <laughs> <Aye. laughs> they're Fucking some of my favourite videos. The Goths like pure moshing it to fucking Thomas the Tank Engine. 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 Thomas that might actually be my favourite video. When the wolf tons played at Cat House. We're in a sloppish thing here. I don't think we're going to get another clear chance to score at goal other than that penalty. What is it? Uh, Strunar have equalised at Brora, Morton have equalised against East Fife, and Kamarak have 4 0 up against uh, Senhouse Muir. What time's, uh, what time's the Celtic kick off at? Uh, half seven tonight. Arsenal play Liverpool at eight o'clock. Interesting. Kieran so, Tierney and Andy Rollison. Friends and teammates for 10 days, and now they're enemies again. We have a couple of subs for uh, Rafe Rovers. We have Armstrong coming on. Uh, yeah. Daniel Armstrong used to play for Hearts right. Youth or something. No, uh, he was at Wolves. He was at Wolves, came on one to Dunfermline, then went to Ross County. Ross uh, County, where? Right. Either side at, at uh, Rafe. We brought him into Scottish football and AJ gave him about half an hour in six months. Did I get the goal kit, Robbie? No, I haven't got the goal kit yet, but I am definitely looking to invest in it because um, it's all for a good cause. Is that the uh, one with the like, army stuff on it? Yeah, it's like the desert camel. Yeah. Uh, oh. Robbie B says, are you doing a stream for the tin of beans versus the green bogies on Monday, Gogsy? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, are, we are streaming for Queen of the South against Hibernian on Monday. Don't you so, worry about that. We're in the 92nd minute here. Hearts have a free kick just outside the box, wide left. And I can tell you right now, it's written in the stars that this is going in the back of the net. Stephen Nason. The Watching the, that was back in the day. Oh. And it used, to be on, uh, it used to always be on Sky Sports as well. Yes. That's how you, you know. Is the match. Mm -hmm. In the two side derby, there is no such thing as a two side derby after a goal 10 10. Oh, that was hoaxing for an easy thing. Fuck! Oh. Oh. oh, you shite bag. Just fucking put your foot through it. To be fair, he was unlucky. The honking <laughs> The honking latrines. Hey, Bob. This is a cool one. Oh, 2-1 to Dundee United. Who turned that tyre in, the cunts? Well, this has done an opportunity of working with Dundee United, but thank fuck. What a tackle. Oh, he just pulled his hammy or something, eh? But Run right yeah. just scored. Uh, Again? Well, I just can't come through there. I don't no, know just that. one each. Is that beans, the bell and beans. I just uh, I got the wrong ready down, looking like he's going to come off after pretty much saving Livy Das to be honest, and then forty himself to the pussy. Shana in Scotland today. Hey, Shana. I fucking hate Shana. Unfortunately, Shana is like a great away day though. It is a lovely trip. It's fucking it's really good. My favourite away day in Scottish football, oh, 100%. Oh, it's class, isn't it? When was the last time Dunfermline played for now? Eh, It was the cup, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, yeah, the cup last season, which I couldn't go <laughs> to, fucking shit in Sunderland. Um, and then before that, it would have been like three years before because we were in the same league as them. 
Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh. Look who fucking scored for them, man. Oh, Judas bastard. Nicky Clark. See when then Nicky Clark was about to sign a pre-con, was going to sign a pre-contract with us, and then it was like the United fans. It was like when the Jack and Victor are in the bookies and they're shouting at the horse. And he goes, honestly, he is a fucking Judas bastard, though, because. He scored against us and was running about, cutting about, getting at the fucking aeroplane and kissing the badge and everything in front of the Dunfermline fans. And I wondered why he was getting sh- fucking thrown at him and everything. Why? Oh, fuck off, Chris Kane, you dick. Oh, no! Oh, for fuck's sake, Dunfermline. <laughs> and New Hartford up the other end. It's oh, brilliant. Oh, brilliant. Ball whipped in. Right so on the half in. Fail time. Dems, it's finished. Dundee, nil. St Johnston, one. Uh, definitely put a good account for ourselves in that. A wee top pass, Fraser. You're fucking getting held by Rafe Rovers. Yeah, I guess we're Rafe yeah. in the league. Where are you? Just we below are, them. We're now <laughs> in the 96 minute here. Wait, where are they? Where are they? Oh, just below us. Come on. Let's get a sixth goal. Let's be greedy. We do. S- s- same, same way that um, St. Johnson are just below you. And it is full time at the Tony Macaroni. And it's really not, though, because it's going extra time. Rafe won. <laughs> yep. Well, me and Stevie are sailing through to the next round. Where's format? At least we're still in the cup, Fraser, eh? Oh, <laughs> uh, get even. And that's the full-time whistle. 97 minutes we played here at East End. Dunfermline could have and should have scored about eight today, but unfortunately it wasn't meant to be. Hearts had one real opportunity in the whole 90 minutes. They were very, very poor. Uh, doesn't really help us all that much. You're crossing them means- over. That doesn't count. That means that you're like uh, trying to protect yourself against the devil. <laughs> it's magic, you know. Dundee and Hamden don't go. <laughs> Tell me something I don't already know. Look, like, come on. Just factual information, though. Uh, Mar- Marcus, right. Marcus, Marcus the feelings mutual. We all wanted to, uh, to laugh at hearts another week. <laughs> See the be- fact that Aiden said yeah. that they only needed to win five more games, and since then they've um, actually lost two and drew one. So to be to be perfectly honest with you though, uh, like you can still laugh at hearts because we are that bad. Like they should have been turning us over. Is that some that of the well points, Stevie? That moves us back into the top four. I'm going ahead. Yes. Two mm. points behind Dundee, five behind the Rovers. We're still going up. <laughs> oh. I have a word with that wee boy. He's absolutely disgraceful referee. I'm just the, my guys laughing, well. The thing is, like, Dunfermline don't win playoffs. Like, period. Just don't win them. Like, uh, in the nineties, lost playoffs twice. We had the playoffs for going down. Alwa beat us. We had the playoffs for coming back up. Cowden beat us. We had the playoffs to go up. Dundee United beat us. Like, Dunfermline don't do playoffs. They have to win the league because in the playoffs we are. Absolutely wank. Uh, Martin wank. Robertson, we are one. I'll I'll, I'll happily take uh, Brora or Stranra at home. But you'll probably get Celtic or Rangers. Oh, we definitely will. Uh, Jambo mate said a few months ago they'd be challenging us in Aberdeen for third if they were in the Prem. Not sure now. I, I, I think, think it's way, if they had a half decent manager, possibly, but Robbie Nielsen is. He steals a living. Oh, yeah. 100%. What do you think about the 
the the single like the single games, no replays. You prefer it? I prefer it. No, you're just gonna have another fixture congestion if you take games to replays. No, no, nah. I, 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 minus Please. the COVID situation, minus that, I'm talking about in general, like for next season. Um, but it should happen. I mean, you know, because you go to a away game, right? So, say Rafe has came here today, right? And then you know, during the week, you've got an hour trip. You know, is it really going to entice more fans to go? Maybe, probably not. I reckon it will. You think? Yeah, because it's a lot more on the line than just a game where which could go. Well, to no, of course not. But I'm saying like it. Just finish the game there. Extra time's another half an hour, and it's penalties the the whole either, You know. Mm. Three four is about to kick off here. Are we doing extra time on this team? <laughs> Uh, Let's see what the comments are saying right now. Got it that Fraser brought her out, but they did well against the team. Yeah, there goes my dogs going crazy. Uh, during the week, not as many will go, says Patrick. Depends who you're playing as well. I remember we played Inverness at Dens and that finished 2 2, and then they go up to Inverness for a replay on like a Tuesday night. Maybe, maybe it was there. I've got a soft spot for replays though, because Dunfermline in two semi finals twice went to replays. So the first time 0 4 went to a replay with uh, Inverness, beating them. Put them out, and then the same. It's, it's your wife, mate, because I'm about to bag her. <laughs> are, are we staying for extra time, or shall we wrap up? I say wrap up, but it's up to you. Yeah, uh, bro, it's up to you, mate. Uh, we're, we're about to enter into a different slot because, of course, we're, we're on again later on for Celtic against Falkirk. So, well, we'll call it for now, but thanks everyone that's been on the, in the chat. Uh, thanks to whoever's wife it is that's uh, barking. Uh, thanks to for Squandro, Stevie, Cami, who's still active, uh, and Jamie for coming in today. And uh, yeah, we'll be back very soon. To, tonight uh, we've got Celtic against Falkirk. Tomorrow we've got the cup draw, and of course Rangers against Cove. Anyway, yes, guys. Um, We'll see you later. Drive safe. Drive safe. Drive safe. Bye. Mother for the cup. <laughs>